Well, <laughs> we're back. Bro, I can't actually move my neck. Like, you I'm might have to stuck. give up on the neck through. halfway through. I'm like <laughs> You're like up like this. Because it's actually making me feel like I have a neck. You know what? Just so they get it, just insert two photos now of the outfits yeah, we're I'll recreating. Yeah, who I'm recreating here. And me. And who she's recreating. Just so you know. So if we have to, he has to ditch the, the <laughs> neck. This at one point, you know who I'm trying to be. What a sick hat. I literally have an Ed Hardy Thank hat that so looks much. like that, but pink. I got Imagine. This from Facebook Marketplace. Hot. Love 25 it. 25 bucks. Oh my God. Are you serious? Literally. These glasses right here, I think they're real. Versace, Those are fucking hot glasses. My mom found these in the house and was like, oh, here you go. I was like, wow, well, thanks, like, mom. These um, are days. Oh, that day sprint D E U S. I always read it as deuce. Deuce. I really like your tooth gems. Really? Can I just say, if I I'm had scared nice that, teeth, I would get I'm one. I'm scared that it looks like I have like a hole in my tooth when I go like this. Not really. In photos though, it does because you can't it really? see in person. Yeah. Does it reflect? I don't know. I've never. I had it for like one day. I'm only gonna have it for two weeks because yeah. I gotta wear my retainer. Well, guys, we're back. That was a long intro, but we're yeah. back. Um, we'll probably we should just like fast forward. Fast we'll just forward a little bit. Away. Um, we're back doing another podcast because guys. Guys, everybody loved it so much last time. They did. They actually did really did. well. That was like we had a little viral TikTok kind of. We did a hundred thousand likes. So. Go ask the way I misspelt yeah yeah. Yeah, I can was I just dying. say that was not me. That was Cape Cut. Okay, good. you know when you like auto caption. Yeah, bro, I actually can't yeah read. yeah I was yeah dying. yeah. How All right, ditch the neck brace. I'm ditching it. And also, just don't mind me always putting the pillow here. It's just like a a thing because I'm wearing shorty shorts. <laughs> okay, it's well like a blanket. We're back today to do another little catch up because a lot's happened since we last saw each other. I went to Sydney and I went to an event and this girl over here has done a full collab with a business. Yeah, I did a little jewellery collab. I'm wearing a piece from there right now. This is the Annalise Charm necklace. So pretty. It looks good quality as well. Yeah, it's really good. So it's all um, waterproof. It's 18 karat gold plate of stainless silver. Stainless silver. (laughs) Stainless steel. And the silver stuff is... Um, what's it called when it's like silver? Um, sterling silver. Sterling. Yeah. Yeah. Stainless s- silver too. Stainless <laughs> that's still. another thing that's coming out. But they look so pretty. I went through the website, looked at them all. They're actually all so pretty. Thanks. And I you tried. Create them all. Yeah. So like, I basically sent through um all my inspiration. I wanted mm-hmm. a lot of heart stuff, angel yep. vibes, the juicy charm necklace and bracelet sort of vibe too. Yeah. Um, and then we just got to working with like what the manufacturer could provide, and like we got some really really cute pieces out of it. It's it was, really, it really cute. Fun. And you four had a pop up yesterday. Yeah, we had a pop up in Collingwood with Amazing. like um five other Melbourne brands. Um, it was a really good day. I got to meet. A lot of people um, sell some bits from the collection, take some cute photos. It was really cute. fun. Well, this yeah. was like your first big thing, yeah? Yeah, it was like my first ever like proper thing I've done. People were yeah. asking as well if I'm ever going to do another meet and greet. Because it wasn't really a meet and greet. It was more of like a pop-up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like I think I would definitely do something else a like that. Like a meet and greet kind yeah. of. It's fun. Something chill though. I feel like we're the same like that. I love talking to people. Yeah. So if I did a meet and greet, I think it would be the best day ever. Literally. You know I mean? And I like, love a, people. but like a chill one, right? Like yes. not like a sitting and signing. No, thing. No, I'm no, not no. that kind of celebrity. Anyway, not like but a VidCon like, thing. Like literally like I have this like idea that when I get, when I get engaged, I'm yeah. going to book out a club for an engagement party and all my friends are going to come and then it's going to be open to anyone who follows me. Amazing. You have to show that you follow me on TikTok and you can get into the engagement party. <laughs> and that's how you get in. <laughs> that just remind me of something. Um, My mom was telling me the other day. That my sister's friends came over and she's like, everybody needs to show if you're following my son or not. If you're not, you have to go Yeah, home. that's good. I, I agree. I agree with that idea. Love my mom. <laughs> so I'm so going to steal that though, the club idea. Yeah, do it. I'm actually going to steal that. That's so fun. You'll probably get engaged before me, so. Oh, well, make sure you say, oh, I got this idea from Nick Knock because you're going to get to I'll do tag it you. Me. Create yeah. a... Co- create original content idea. I be, I be <laughs> inspired by be, Nick Knock. Um, when do you see yourself getting engaged? Well, I want to get engaged when I'm 23 and get okay. married when I'm 24. That's like, I want to be married at 24. Ooh. That's like, because my mum got married at 24. Yeah. Everyone like, I remember like Miss Cadman from yes. St. Vidal, she got married at 24 and I just she thought did. that was the best age. It is a so, good age. Yeah, I want to get engaged at 23. So in the next, like in two years time, that gives yeah. my boyfriend time to save for a ring. A nice big old ring. Big ring. Um, I want a tacky engagement ring. I don't care. I want really? it to be like, ta- literally I've seen like heart shaped ones. 
I would do it. I don't care. It's Might me. Might as well. Like, it's it's meant to be your personality. I hate that idea that people think that when you're older, you're not going to like something anymore. Like, I'm always, I've yeah. always liked the same shit, like, growing up. Like, Literally. when people say, like, oh, you're not going to like that tattoo when you're... <gasps> like, yes, I will. I'm going to be 70 and I'm going to love my angel wing tattoo. Be for when real. I'm 70, I'm going to be full body tattoo. Yeah, Literally. sick. I'm going to do it sick. all. Like, why not? I saw this mum on TikTok. She has the two stars on her hip bones. Like, yeah. she, obviously, she was, like, a mum in the... Tr- she was, like, young in the 2000s. Yeah. And she still... She shows them sometimes i'm like that's hot like that's hot go her milf literally <laughs> literally milf energy um so you said 23 you seem yeah. like getting engaged when i was 21 so what like two years ago mm. i was like i'm definitely going to be engaged by 23 can't see it happening yeah can't see it happening i feel like 26 well do you but see I are want, you gonna have kids yeah i want kids but i want young kids do you know what I mean? Like, I want to be young when I have kids. Yeah, you don't want to be old. But I want to have a kid when I'm, like, 27. I want to have my first kid. Okay, yeah, same. Yeah. 27. Like, that's, like, married at 24. Actually, maybe 26. That's, like, two years. No. Get pregnant. I'm really sorting this out. Pregnant by 26. Kid comes out at 27. Love it. So, like, 26. And a half. And a half. Yeah. And then you'll have the kid at 27. Yeah. Love that. I don't have plans like that anymore. No. Like, I don't have plans like that for my life anymore. I just feel like they never happen mm. how I want them to. And I'm the type of person where if something doesn't happen how I want it, I get really upset by it. Oh, like I dude, get disappointed. I feel the same, yeah. I get really disappointed if I don't do something by a certain time. Mm. So, I don't know, maybe like 26. That reminds me because when I was like, I think when I was 10, I wrote myself um, a letter to open in 2014 when I started year seven. Do you do that too? Never found the letter. Yeah, I used to do it all the time. I write myself Stop. notes. I actually have this, t- I actually have a tactic. I'm going to tell you guys about it. Okay. But... I wrote myself a letter and I've never found it and I'm just dying to open it like it's been like seven years since I should have opened it because I want to like because I remember it was like oh did you get skinny by swimming carnival it was like the stupidest (laughs) shit but it was like it just reminds me of like when you set yourself goals and you never get them yes but I have this thing about talking to myself in the future like I have I get really like I obviously get I get well not obviously obviously but I have anxiety so I get really anxious about things Mm -hmm. and if I'm worried about something happening and just say it's like something that's happening in two weeks time and I'm stressed about it the way I like calm myself down is I'll be like okay Annalise in the future Mm -hmm. like I'm just telling you now like I'm not going to worry about you again but I hope that you're having a really good time right now like if I'm worried about it I hope you're having heaps of fun and like just check back on me when you're there to like tell me it's all right and then I won't think about it because I like kind of feel like you know what my future self is going to remember yeah and like when I'm in the moment I'll be like you know what Annalise two weeks ago see everything turned out fine you didn't even have to worry I love and I like practice this idea of like talking to myself in the future and working with my future self because I know when I'm there in the moment then I'm not going to be worried anymore exactly but like me right now like next week and I'm worried about something and I'm going to be like Annalise, you're going to be having so much fun there. Yeah, you won't even remember I'll let you it. go. And it actually is a really good tactic at work. That actually is because when I went to Sydney, I'd been to the event before mm. and I knew the same people were going to kind of be going. Say where the event was though. Uh, the social. I went to the social. Went to the social. Um, but I was so stressed. I was oh, like, I'm yeah. going to look so fat in every photo. I'm oh. just going to like have the worst no, time I ever. Hate that. I hate that feeling when you think the photos are going to look bomb. <laughs> Stop. And then Wait. they look shit and it's, oh my God. No, that was no, half my photo roll. There was this lady taking photos of everybody. And I said to her, I know this is really annoying, but I need to see the photos. Because yeah. if I look fat, you need to delete them. Mm. Every photo fat. Every oh. photo. Double chin out. Turkey neck. <laughs> big Dude. old hip. Yeah, it just. <laughs> big old hip. Oh. <laughs> big old peach hip. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I just, I can't do it. Mm. I can't. But I like that tactic. I'll be using that. Dude, it actually, actually works. So smart. And you know what? More often than not, you actually forget to talk to your past self because you're just having so much fun in the in moment. The moment. You, you're yeah. not even thinking. Because like when I go waxing and I'm like in pain, I'll be like, hello to waxing. Annalise in the future. And then after waxing, I'll be like, Annalise in the past, it's all done. Now we've got smooth <laughs> legs. Like it's just like little it things. It was all worth it. It actually works. I don't it know. It was all worth it. No, it's a good tactic. I'll be using that. Thank Definitely you so use much it. for that. I've got a little list here because last time we were all over the place. Mm. But it was actually funny, so maybe we we'll need be to a also like give ourselves too. like a time. We need like a, you know what we should get like even we can't we should get like a clock. Yes, yeah, so we can see how long it's been. Time, like, okay, we need to like wrap it up. Yeah, wrap it up or change subject or something. Change it up. Okay, well I wanted to talk about the Michaela Testa fan page. Yeah, guys. Oh, oh my god. You know when you get so pizza, scared pizza. by something like just say you see someone that you had beef with in school yep. or something in a shopping center and you pass them and you feel your heart drop. You get like that gut feeling. You get like that Ugh. Oh, stop. It's sunk in. That was me a few weeks ago when I saw Ugh. this video of our podcast on a TikTok like you know when there's like drama so people like post. Yeah. 
there was a video of us two and it was like in big writing, Nick Knock 123 talks about Michaela Tester's BBD. And I was like, oh my God, that's it. We're going to have to delete the video. (laughs) I was scared because like, I feel like Michaela Tester's fans are scary. Yes. And also she herself is scary. Because so right or die. If she, like, if she blocked me because of that, I would have been upset. But she didn't. Because so right or die. <laughs> it was, we, yeah, it was fucking, honestly, I feel like that's like the thing with like my followers, they're yeah. like that. They will yes. attack people. Like yes. I used to like have a private account and I would repost a video if it was like people, me, I'd be like, guys, there's someone in the comments being mean and everyone would go and attack them. I love it. I had to delete I the account it. that was really toxic. <laughs> <laughs> but like, yeah, it was really scary. And I'll, I, but then it ended up being okay. It was okay. When you sent it to me, I was out. And oh. I was like, you sent a message like, oh my God, look what happened or something like that. And <gasps> I died. I'm like, guys, like I'm never leaving the house again. Like something bad's happened. I saw it and I'm like, thank God it yeah. wasn't bad. Oh, thank God. But the way my heart dropped, I thought if people are sitting there talking about us, like Dude, I can't I handle that. I can't handle that. I had that. the same feeling. I, I literally got so scared. I was like, no, we need. And then we were like, we need to be careful what yes, we talk like, about. Next time we can't say anything bad. Like we've like, got to be careful. Because we didn't. But like, um, no. Yeah. But everything can be misconstrued. Yeah, exactly. Everything. And lucky it wasn't. And lucky because the way the caption started looked scary. Yeah. But then she was saying like, I was being like, and then the people in the comments were like, like supporting her. Yeah, supporting Which her. And the people in the comments were like, oh, you know, we love Michaela, all this stuff. Yeah. No one was coming for me. No one really talked about us in the for, comments. I thought it. someone said, I love, I love her. And they were talking about me, but they were talking about Michaela. And I was like, you bitch. <laughs> I thought they were like, Oh, we love Nick Knock. She's the best. But no, that was about my ego would have went so high. Yeah, I was like, oh, no, that was about Michaela. You've probably whatever. gotten this, but like when people make edits of you, yeah, someone made one to my um my podcast sound, and it was like a sad one, and I was like, dude, wait, I feel like you sent that to me. Yeah, yeah you I did, you did. No, stop. Did you cry for yourself? I cried. I was at work with my best friend, and we're both crying together. I want someone to make a sad edit of me Please. so bad. I always get like, I Please. get like um like the. the the hot girl ones. Yeah, I, I yeah. remember the first time I got one, I was so flattered. I love when people <laughs> make that stuff, but like my favorite, so it, I really want a sad, but I never talk about sad things. So like, like, huh, I it always was, do stupid shit. It was my podcast where I was talking about being bullied in high school. Yeah. And okay. it was like me telling myself like in the future, it's going to be okay. Yeah. Oh my and God, that's made, like what I was saying before. Yeah, literally. And they made like a little sad edit. I'll show you later Dude, again if you don't guys, remember. Guys, if you so ever cute. see me being, actually, I never be sad on You're not sad online. Media. <laughs> literally, like on my live streams, I was thinking, but I always get on there angry about something. Like I'm never yeah. just generally sad i never like i don't not that there's anything wrong with it but when people like post themselves crying and stuff because i don't do it yeah i can't it's a, i'm gonna say it's a little bit cringe it's, I've i done just it feel like it's for oh, really yeah because i was like really sad the other night so i went driving and listening to music and i actually cried yeah so i put that online but like i knew that when i was posting it it's cringe yeah do you know what i mean no i'm not talking about stuff like that though because i feel like that could be like romanticizing it's kind of cool bit. i kind yeah, of would do bit, that a little i bit. kind of would but i mean like when people like say like i just want to show you guys that i'm real and they're like they, they do like today was a bad day and they're like crying like i've seen i know if don't come for me if you've done it but like i sometimes <laughs> think it's like it's forced that i'm real i'm a real like everyone cries everyone but like, Loki, i would do that shit crying in like the literally, car. i put on the <laughs> saddest music and was just crying in the car driving down the freeway did you put like a video of like with you with music playing and stuff yes i did no i would do that <laughs> yes, no i, I would did. for the drama i mean like when people are like that. today was a bad day when i just want to show you guys rela- i'm real they force relatability yeah i hate that too um especially because i know how it works when you're making a tiktok sometimes you'll film something and you're like you redo it or you cut out so crying and cutting and out like, let me redo this let me cry again so i can redo Bro, this literally that makes my skin crawl i feel like that's gross um <laughs> it's okay though but it's like it's, okay. it's just like a personal preference i wouldn't but that's i guess why i can't get sad edits because i never talk about sad things like yeah, i'm a not- very like everything's funny kind of person yes. not everything's happy all the time like toxic positivity which is a real thing. Like yes. We've talked about people who do that. Absolutely, we have. But, um, but yeah, like... I get what you mean. Yeah. Like, you don't have, like, them sad, sad moments. Yeah. Um, Because everything's a joke to me. My boyfriend was... The other day, I put that thing. Did you see? On my private store, my boyfriend was like, we need to end things. So then I made this yes, video, and it was like I an did. edit of me, like, hot girl, <laughs> summer, and it's all these yes, photos I of me. Did. I he was, was literally dead. being dramatic. People thought he was actually breaking up with me. I'm like, do you think I would let my boyfriend break up with me? The I literally just say no if he did. Everybody <laughs> takes things so literally online. Mm. Fucking so literally. I was just talking about this. I posted a video the other night about my girlfriend. She went clubbing and she doesn't go often. So like it was this massive joke I was having like where I'm codependent. Were you actually uncomfortable with her clubbing or were you okay? No, like you were chill. literally not like. I would but, actually, I would actually lose my mind if my boyfriend went clubbing without me. I think I would literally murder someone. Really? I'm cr- I get what you mean. Cause like I'm kind I'm of, crazy. I'm a really jealous person. Me too. I'm bad. I'm very jealous, but I trust her in a way. Do you know what yeah. I mean? I knew that she'd be fine, but the way people gaslit me into being upset at her it cha- like I posted this video, didn't think much of it. 
I looked about an hour later, it was on like 20,000 likes and people were being so nasty to me saying I was possessive, um, that I'm gay and she's going out with other people there and like she's doing all this random stuff. And I don't know why, but it actually made me real life upset. That's so annoying. Literally. And so then when she got back home, I picked her up and stuff and we're talking about it. I was like upset at her, but for no reason. Like it wasn't her fault. TikTok is so toxic. They can make, like, oh, they, make, so they, they literally made me upset with my, they were trying to make me upset saying my boyfriend was a red flag once because I got a stomachache and I had to shit. Yeah. <laughs> and he couldn't go home because I had to drive him home, but I was in the toilet and I was saying like, oh my God, my boyfriend's annoyed, lol, because I have to keep <laughs> going to the toilet. And they were saying red flag, bro, as if he wouldn't be supporting you. And I was like, do you want me to hold his hand while I'm shitting on the toilet? I hate people. Like, like they were sa- calling my boyfriend a red flag because he was annoyed that I had to go to it. Oh. Like, I would be annoyed too if I couldn't leave because someone kept shitting. People. Blah. I think there's just, like, really miserable people online. Nah, for sure. Very miserable. Like, who the fuck are you? You don't even know me. Why are you commenting these things? Literally. That's what gives me anxiety and I can't look through my comments much anymore. Yeah, sometimes I'm, like, the same. I, I yeah. can't because, like... It's just a big mental There's cult. been a few videos for me where, like... Oh, uh, like, I made this video once where I was belly dancing in my bedroom on live stream and my mum came in and told I've me off. That. And then I got... Yeah, it got on American TikTok. All these guys you're such a bimbo move out what are you still doing at home i was like i had to literally private the video for overnight i would private it because yeah. i couldn't keep track of it during the day and like check yeah. i didn't want to wake up in the morning to like 100 comments of people abu- like abusing me literally <laughs> and like the thing with me and i think you too like my mom goes on tiktok my sisters go on tiktok god forbid they're scrolling through my comments and they see something that's really nasty about yeah. me i know that that will hurt their feelings. My mum reads every comment on all my TikTok. She reads every oh. single comment. She tells me, she's like, I read them all. Yeah. Some pe- She goes, oh, these people are being so rude to you. Like, and I'm like, yeah, I know. Like, I hate people. Like, it's really hard online because... But I feel like you're worse off. Like, I feel like I'm lucky. I don't get that much. Lucky I know girl. with you... Lucky girl. I know with you, like, yeah. sometimes people give it to you and it's so frustrating. People give it to my life. Give it's it to my so life. Really, it's really like, frustrating. There's times where I can understand because... I think everyone has to be like self-aware that sometimes it is cringy to post on TikTok. Mm. Like it just is. But the people that stitch my videos, like... Do, they, do you get stitches? I hate... I turn my stitches boys. off. I turn my stitches off. All the area boys oh, stitch my videos. Fuck, that makes me so mad. All of them stitch it and then all their friends are in the comments like talking about I how... I feel like as a guy it's a bit harder am. because like... I think I'm an easy target. Mm. And people who make... I notice people who make videos where they're being out there targeted like For i noticed sure. like you know sophia cg yes her videos she's very loud you know she gives it to guy like oh guys who do this like she gives if you're gonna be yeah. like that i see guys in the comments like she doesn't respond though which i think that's the hottest thing like she's yeah like, i don't give a fuck who but like fuck? people comment shit because i always respond bitch i have to or i'll delete them i'm the same but like um I'm like, when you have a personality like hers, for example, yes. like where you're very loud, you're going to expect people to like say shit. Every time I've ever made a video where I'm yeah. like being loud yeah. or like, Ooh, da, 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 I get hate comments because people just like, they can't handle it. Yes. Because people don't like to see you being your actual self. Yeah. Like, and they, they don't like the confidence. Be, no, they don't. They hate it. And I think what I've seen for myself is that it's a lot of guys that hate on me. Mm. And I find it so funny because the girls have my back. Yeah. The girls love me. The guys all so annoying. Like for mm. what? Just because you don't put yourself in your profile picture. It's, like, the, it's the males for real because that's the, the worst comments I've gotten have been from men. Like I, when a girl yeah. is a rude comment, I'm like, you know what? Bitches are bitches. Like, you know, sometimes we just, we don't like each other. That's fair enough. But yeah. when it's men, it's like, it's You're kind of hurts. Like it kind of hurts though because yeah. it's like, it's, it's just the way they dig at you just hurts a little bit more. <laughs> I feel like they're just that's harsher like. with their approach. Like they're yeah. not as, like girls aren't as outwardly mean yeah in some ways yeah or like with a girl i don't know why i automatically just think okay i could fight you <laughs> but like when it's a guy i'm like what am i gonna do sometimes i just really want to morph into like a six foot five islander guy with tattoos and just knock them the and fuck just out. beat the shit out of people please my that's one, like my goal i like, feel like to be able to merge to a big island man i did taekwondo when i was little yeah that shit taught me nothing like <laughs> I don't know how to no fucking survival fight. Tactics. No survival tactics. If I Bro. get into a fight, I'm on the floor in a ball. Like, there's no way. Um, I feel like I could take... I could probably throw one good punch. Uh, if that doesn't I feel land, like I'm running. I'm convinced I could, like, fight someone. 
I could see it. But like, I've never actually been into a punch on before in my life. But like, I'm convinced that like, and I know people say like, oh, that people think like the anger can help. It's not about the anger. Like, I think it's about like it's the, about fr- the, the anger. anger. Like if someone just, dis- because I can't handle when people think they can disrespect me. Because I feel like my first approach to people is like nice. Yeah. I will do anything for you. If, yeah. if you give me like, if you think like, if you act like you like me, I will do anything. Right. Yeah. So when people give me a bit of disrespect, I'm like, whoa, like I've taken a step forward and you've like just gone at me. Yeah. That idea makes me so angry. When I look back at times girl, girls have been mean to me, I, I think like like all this one time, these two like girls like attacked me, my friends at the uh, train station, that story. You did a story time about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember They that. didn't touch me, but like when I think back, I'm like, I wish they did because now I feel like I would just like go, go at it. To be honest, in high school, I was really combative. It's like a dog eat dog world. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm you dead. I'm dead. I got into like actual physical fights in high no school. No way. I did. I want to know what it feels like to be in a real fight. Far to out, be man. honest. It must be like exhilarating. It is, but it's all about strategy, to be honest. Like it's all about where the fuck am I getting this person? There was this one guy I fought Then I'm with. out, bro. Literally, you have to be so quick. This one guy slapped me. Oh, God. Bitch slapped me. We were fighting in front of the canteen. Oh, my God. How embarrassing. I was in like year eight and all the year 12s were videoing us. And I Dude. was like, please, not World Star. Please. World Star. World Star. World Star. Star. Um, yeah, that was my first. So it's, it's about strategy when you fight it's someone. It's about strategy, 100%. See where they're not protecting and go for it. Mm. Guys, always the balls. Fuck. Straight for the okay. balls. Give them a big kick in the balls. Oh, that scares me. Down. Dude, I feel like that's why I feel like I'm I'm going to be okay because I feel like I'm stronger than the average girl just because mm-hmm. like I go gym and like I'm like a, my boyfriend even She's says a I'm, gym girl. I'm weirdly strong like it's in my genetics. I'm like Croatian. Croatian women are the, some of the toughest women. They cuz they I'm built like a, I'm built like a peasant woman that's meant to hold three kids <laughs> at one go. Like that's how I'm built. That's how my mom's built like I'm we're built like, built like that. <laughs> <laughs> You're built like someone who You know what? That's okay. Upside down Dorito. Upside down burrito. Wait, I feel like you. You lit- was it you and your sister? Your sister said. My that. sister you, said that about me. Yeah, that. I've been scarred ever since. I feel like I'm strong, but like this is not my invitation for you guys to try and fight me at Flinders Street. One hundred percent, please. No one. I don't want to fight anyone. No, if you see me in public, like don't. leave me alone, please. But I feel like in a self defense kind of way. In a self <laughs> defense. It. If don't hit someone me. unless they hit you first. That's my thing. Never be rude to someone unless they're rude to you. Yes. Then go at them. Yeah. Say anything you want about them. I don't yeah. give a shit. I don't think I could start the fight. Never. Do you know I what I mean? I, I couldn't start a fight. Altercation, never. No, absolutely Ugh. not. Couldn't I start it. I avoid that shit. But I do feel like I don't give myself enough credit. I could fight. I could probably fight. You, you, you look like strong. You look like a strong guy. Thank you so much. You look like a strong guy. Thank you. I feel like you. you wouldn't be able to be pushed over. No, it's because I'm fat. <laughs> no, but like, do you know what I mean? Like my I'm boyfriend. I'm solid as Are you fuck. like five, six? Yeah, five six. Yeah, my boyfriend's five six too. He's like solid. Like you think because yeah. they're short. No, they're like because you're short. I feel like you're closer to the floor. You've got better say, gravity. <laughs> but it's the, we're closer to the floor. Gravity's on our gravity. side. Straight out. You lanky bitches. <laughs> I'm dead. But yeah, That's no, funny. for sure. <laughs> If I was going to fight with somebody, I would want your boyfriend there. He looks like he could beat someone up. He gets... I feel like... Dude, I have tried to push him over because me... This is the thing, and I've said this before, because me and my boyfriend are the same height. Yeah. When we argue, it is not, oh, look at my cute little girlfriend trying to fight me. No, it is one-on-one. Like, as I said, dog eat dog. Like, I always say to my boyfriend... If I was smaller than you, when yeah. I say bitchy comments, you wouldn't take them as serious because you'd be like, oh, you think you're tough. <laughs> like if I was this big compared to him. But yeah. because we see oh, we're eye to eye, it's like a competition. It's yeah. like a let's go. But then when it's I've tried to physically out. fight him, it doesn't work. He like wins. I can't move. I can't move him. Like it's crazy how men are just, they're just stronger. <laughs> I kind of let my girlfriend win. You do? I say let very loosely because that bitch is strong. <laughs> like she really does take me down. Like I try to act like, oh, like I just let you yeah. win. That bitch bowls me over. <laughs> like she's got me good. That's funny. So like, can't relate. Sometimes my boyfriend's like, I'm you in the situation. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually you. Like you're me. I'm, I'm literally you. Yeah, literally. But like, yeah, it's just like, sometimes when people are strong, it surprises me because I think that it's like, I don't know. Like I get shocked by people's strength. I get that. Because you don't expect people to be strong. Yeah, you think that you're the main character, so like you can defeat. Story of my fucking so when life. Someone, so when someone actually, it's like, whoa. Because what, what happens is like, I'll try and fight my boyfriend. So yesterday I was trying to, it's like really weird. He was laying on the bed with his legs together and I was trying to pull his legs apart. Like, I know that sounds so fucking weird. And Bust then I made him, him do it to me. I was like, let's see if I could defend myself in a situation. Like, and then he opened him straight. I'm like, fuck, I'm gone. I'm de- gone. But like, I'm, gone. I'm like, because I'll try and go like this and like separate my arms, separate my legs, you know? Because I'm yeah. like, he's like, it's not about doing that. Like, you need to just kick the guy in the or whatever he's trying to literally and i'm like okay fair enough i'm not gonna yep. try and fucking squeeze in the middle anyways Get them balls. i was trying to like rip his legs apart and he'll be like hey, wh- wh- where was this conversation going you're ripping his legs up legs apart no but what were we saying before that we're talking about 
strength. And how I think I'm the main character. Yeah. Oh, yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. So I'll be like, fucking open your legs. And I'll be like swearing and stuff because I'm trying to get all my anger <laughs> Not out fucking open nothing. your legs. <laughs> she said, bitch, open them legs. I'm trying to bust you open. <laughs> no, that's not. It's like, <laughs> but I'll be, I'll be like, fucking get you. And I'll be like swearing under my breath as a way of me thinking that I'm doing something. Have but you seen Norbert? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just picturing Respusha trying to bust the Norbert's legs all the way open. Stop, and this like is the worst groupie thing. Across. I have painted the worst picture right now. I'm so... It does not look like what you think. No. It wasn't like what you think. I mean... Guys, it's not in that way. <laughs> it was like trying to see each other's arm strength yeah. and leg strength. Because like... Yeah. Yeah. Freak. <laughs> Change the subject because Changing I'm... Change the subject. I'm, it sounds like I'm leading this into something crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you met Harper from Heartbreak High. Yes, I did. Oh my god. Where'd you meet her? She goes to my lash girl now. She's been Ooh. wanting to go there, and then like she went, and I actually gave her my appointment, which she'll never know. But my lash girl moved my appointment so that Harper could go. That and is I'm so like, funny. This bitch, like this famous <laughs> bitch, getting my appointment. Saw my appointment. Um, but anyway, it's like when she was about to come meet my friend, we're like my lash girl. We were yeah. like, oh my god, we're freaking out. Yeah. We're doing all this goofy shit because we're just nervous. Like, and then like she came up the stairs. And yeah. like this girl is so much smaller than I thought. Like I thought she was tall. Literally, she's shorter. She's like five foot four. I feel like on <gasps> really? TV everyone looks so tall, but they're not. She's five four. Wow, I thought she was so tall. Literally, and I'm like, like oh five, my eight. god, yeah, literally, yeah. I thought she was gonna be taller than me. And like, she was really sweet. Like I kind of just like, I'm sorry, I'm fangirling. Yeah. Like, can I take a selfie? We look really, like, we look like twins. Not gonna lie, yeah, she did. We look. Everyone was we saying that. Similar. They were like, when Heartbreak High first came out, people were like. Dude, you and Harper look the same. And I'm like, nah, we don't. But then now I see it in person. Oh my, I was God. Like, oh my God. But she's really cute and like. She yeah. seems nice. She moved to Melbourne and like stuff. So she lives here now. That's a show that I feel like I could be on. You're the Me, same. I yeah? want to be on it. I have my full storyline planned. Same. Out. I have. F- what's your storyline? I'm the fat friend because I okay. don't have one fat person on that show. So I feel Hey, like they got no wogs on that show either. No, they need No wogs or Arabs. And you're literally being in Sydney as Please, well. Please. Like, you need some full. And area the original boys Heartbreak there. High, which is a spin off of Heartbreak Kid. Yes. What was about Greeks in Sydney? Yes, it was. Thank you very much. Where's the Greeks? Where's the Greeks? Where is the Lebos? Where's the Italians? Literally, like we need everybody in like, there. Like I love the representation of everyone else, but can we please get some logs in there? Yes, please. My storyline would be I'm the fat friend. Okay. I would come in. I'm from. I've moved from a different school. Wait, who else is fat on that show? There's no one. No one. Yeah. Literally, I'd just be the one fat person on the show. Oh, you'll be the representation. Yes. The, okay. Yeah, representing yeah, yeah. my community and. <laughs> <laughs> Because you unite. said there's one other person. I'm like, no, there isn't. No, there's just me. Yeah. So I'd come from a different school. Okay. I'd become best oh, friends. My, my storyline is similar. Okay, go, I'd go, go. I'd become best friends with Darren. Okay. I'm friends with him and then I, I become friends with... Friends with them because one time I said with him. With them. Sorry, with them. One time I said him and people attacked me. And I was like, I'm sorry. By accident. Sorry. Yeah. Them. Um, and then what's the main character's name again? Amory. Amory. Yeah. Me and her would be like this. And okay. then I'd just be bullied by all the basketball boys. Okay. Okay. That's, that's, that's real. That's a good, that's real. It's that is real. what would happen. Okay. This yes. is my storyline. <sighs> there is a private school around the corner. I'm in part of a girl group. I'm not the main bitch, but I'm the second bitch. There's a three of us and like a guy. Cause that's okay. We walk past Heartbreak High. We're like, look at these povos. We're the Jermaine characters. But yes. I take an interest in, mm. I think his name Anthony. Yes, 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 yes. I take an interest in him. He looks at me. And I, oh no, I take an interest in Malachi. <laughs> Anthony takes an interest in me. We wrote this on my live stream. Yeah. So I, we walk past the school. We kind of like say like, you guys are povos, like whatever. Um, and then we see them all at a party, right? Yep. This party goes down. Yep. Um, then Anthony has to help me. There's something that's going to happen to me. Anthony helps me. But because something was going to happen, someone added me to the... The wall or whatever. Oh, yes. The, the, to wall. the What's it called? The hookup wall. Yeah. 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 Because of that and because it's been on the news, my private school doesn't like that I'm on it. <gasps> and the, someone tells them and I get kicked out of the school. So a bitch has to go to Heartbreak High. And I'm also WOG, by the way. WOG private school, like uh, energy at Heartbreak yeah. High. No one likes me. But Anthony likes me. Then he gets his own love line, like love storyline. The way I would watch this show, like, Pitch does that make Heartbreak High put me on the show? That is such a good storyline. And then you come on as well because, like, you're. And then you, I come on. You need yeah. The, we need like you give me a comic relief too because the comic relief Le- is not happening. Thank you so much. I would be the, the comic funny. Comic relief is not. Happening. I'd be. I'd bring the low key. Darren show. is funny though. He is funny. He has yeah. his lines where he's like pretty funny. Yeah. Um. And Spider. I feel like if we were in the show together, should we be friends? I don't think we'd be well, friends. I think we can't be friends. I think I'll bully friend. you. I think I'll bully me. Because that just makes sense. I'll have to bully you. Literally. Fine. Fine. It's not hard. I wouldn't mind being character that people hate i think same yeah i think that'd be fun mm. to be like how do we do it how do we villainess. audition i don't know i think i want to pitch them my idea let me tell you how crazy i am i was looking up their talent managers yeah and i found harper's one yeah and he's from melbourne i okay. was full gonna email him being like i need to be on the show yeah like i've never acted before but i can act dude i've been doing this my whole I life i feel like we 
We need to go on there. I don't care. I think we I'll should. dye my hair brown to look more Greek. Can we please go on there? You need an Italian and a Greek. You Literally. need the wogs. Let's go find someone who's Lebo. Yes, please. And get them on too. And the three, the three wogs are gonna come on the show. Yes, you need wog representation, fat representation, and private and, school. And bitch <laughs> and private school bitchy representation. But I feel like that's really easy to do because you've grown up with like the girls from private schools, yeah. Yeah. I know how like, to act like Jermaine to the a main ones. Yeah. Like the main big private Schools. School girls, yeah. Well, in our in northern suburbs, in and northern, yeah, yeah, not northern the suburbs. Camberwell and stuff, because no. I don't know those any of people from no. there. Like the Mercies and like yeah, the, and Saint like Aloysius, yeah, Academy, Academy, all of them. All like those you kind could of just girls. mix it all together. Yeah. I think you could do so well. I but see like, us because being on we it. both want to be on it. Let's just do it. Like, let's actually make a move. Yeah, guys, we want to be on it. We want to be on it, and also I'm like clip this for TikTok. people would watch it more if we're on it because they like more people would watch it because we're exactly. on TikTok. Exactly, and they watch it to bully us to say, "Oh, you can't act." Yeah, but you know what? We're gonna exactly. go to acting class this summer. Do you want to go to acting class? Literally, can we? I've been looking it up. Okay, can we organize follow, this? I think her name's Selena. Yeah, Selena Yang. I'm not sure, mm. but she was um saying to go to her talent school because she does like acting classes. I want to do them so bad. Mm. I think it's three hundred dollars for a term. Dude, should we just do it like, and Let's so do we it. can have it under our belt and then we can actually audition? Fine, we're doing it together. Fine. I'm we'll actually going to show you after this. Otherwise, can we get our own show? Yes. Like our own reality. Like not reality show, our own like, um, and we write a script and like all that. Like, yeah. What's that kind of fictional show? Yeah. 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 I think that'd be fun. Yeah. Would guys, you guys watch that? I'm pitching it. Reality shows. Yeah. We, reality TV. we would do really well on reality TV. I think so. I wanted to tell you my story about Big Brother. So okay. when they were coming back in, I think 2020, one of the producers from the show contacted me and wanted me to apply for it. So I applied. I got to the next process, spoke to a producer and stuff like that. And I was meant to do no a group. No way. In- yeah. I was meant to do a big group interview. Never happened because I wasn't obviously. Picked or whatever. wasn't picked. But let me tell you, that's one show that I would tear the fuck up. I would do so well on Big Brother. Me too. So well. Should we audition next year? Because yeah. they usually did the singles one the that singles makes me one. so mad. When I saw it, I was like, I want to apply, but it's singles. Like, I'm my, not My single. manager told me she would like put in a word for me as well really? to get on but then i'm like then we saw it with singles and we're like no nah. it wouldn't work like it's not worth breaking my relationship but you have to go on do you have to go on with the partner or something people say go on with for someone singles. no but in general because last year they did partners they did they do you want to go on together if we I do think it we then? should okay we do so well we should to be honest we do we so would, we well we would fuck shit up yes. even if we only made it on for a few weeks because like That's people all that matters. i would literally and like we would go with the person like i would go in as like i don't know if you remember really early i forgot her name but early early like second season there was this girl who ha- and she was like a princess and she had like a this unicorn thing that she called princess sparkles i do remember and she used to girl, cry yeah. yeah like oh they took my princess sparkles yes. and like and she had the extensions and yeah, everything yeah i would yeah. be her i would be her i would be that extra bitch i would do the y2k af fits I, people would be, i want people to make edits <sighs> of me when i go on that show you know sky marie wheatley Yes, yeah, Sky, yeah. You kind of remind me of her. Really? Yeah. Like okay. her personality on Big Brother. Okay. Have you watched her season? I haven't watched her season, but Watch I know it. Sky Wheatley. Yeah. I reckon you'll like her. Okay. She gives me your vibe. Dude, when Tim was on Big Brother, I had the biggest crush on him. Really? I thought he was so hot. Yeah, Is when I was he, like 12. He's gay, yeah? Yeah. Tim. I yeah. didn't know. I just thought he was so hot. I was like, ha. Ah. Do you know Drew? Mm. Okay. I'm really He's bad another one that everybody people. likes. Yeah. I've seen him at a like bar once in Brunswick. Really? Yeah. My lip lady was on Big Brother, Alexandra. Really? Yeah, she was on it two years ago. Wow, I love with her that. Sister. And I found out after I went there, she was like, I saw her Insta, like, I'm like, damn, she has a lot of followers. Yeah. And then it was like Big Brother, like 2021. And I was like, oh my God, How you want fun. Big Brother? Dude, I want to do it. I want to do it if it's like the old Big Brother. Yeah, like, Cause like challenges. The challenges. Remember the girl Friday who was games? a little person? Yes. And they yes, put yes, her in yes. like a fucking hot dog thing and they rolled her. She was so funny, dude. She I was. want shit like that. I want like iconic TV again. I feel like we'd be good because we're very unfiltered in that sense. 100%. We would be really funny on the show. And, w- and I feel like we wouldn't go on there to look good. No. We would go on there to like go Fuck crazy. shit up. Literally. That's Literally. like what I think. Like I would yeah. fuck shit up. We're definitely going to be on TV one day. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> for something. I feel like I was always made for TV. Me too. I always Did you have that too? Actress. I've, I've always, always videoed myself. Same. Since, since I was, I was like a, nine. Yes. Yeah. Since I was really little, my iPod was We are just four. attention seekers from birth. A hundred percent. From birth. Do you know your birth chart? Are you no, into that? No, not really. I know I'm a Gemini and I have like a two, like a Gemini sun and a moon or something and yeah. like something else because someone's like done it for me. Yeah, yeah. But I'm not really into it. Like I just know my... my Bro, I'm so into it. What are you? I'm a Leo rising. Of course you're... Of course. Leo of course. rising, Aries course. sun, Aries moon. I know moon. all about Leos. Yeah. Are you actually just Leo though in general? No, in general, Aries. Aries, okay. Yeah. 
But Leo, everything about Leos is like attention. True as fuck. And being my rising sign, that's meant to be like the prominent one. Okay. That's like who people see me as. I think I'm meant to be a Gemini rising and something. I'm meant to be like th- like three things a Gemini or some shit like that. Wow. I don't know. Like people like, bro, what the fuck? Because I had like, I'm a main Gemini and then there was two yeah. Gemini. Moons, I don't know what, yeah. something and then something else. Well, I should fine. do it. I think I should. You. Yeah. I, I, I can do it for you. What do you need to know? Your birth time. Oh, I've got it written down. Fun. I can't do a few later. Okay. That'd be fun. Yeah, we'll find out. Um, I did ask on my Instagram if people had advice. They could leave it for us. We'll talk about it. This is the advice segment so part. This is the advice segment. I want to start doing segments in my podcast. I feel like that'd be fun. Yeah. And would you even do like a jump to this part? Yeah. Yeah. So I feel like, yeah, this is the advice segment. I feel like I half the time I don't know what to fucking say. Mm. I fill it with random words. Anyways. Um Wait. When you talk, talk on a podcast. Yeah, like sometimes I feel like I just say things that are random. I have like so a, random. I have like an attention problem. So, yeah. Like that's why before I lost track of what I was saying. Yeah. I had to get you to like, had to like go back because I like forget what I started Okay. With. And like yeah. sometimes you can't, like literally I was watching the podcast with my boyfriend. I made him watch the whole thing. Love and it. I was showing him all the parts that I was zoning off and I was like staring. <laughs> and before you were talking and I was watching how the time flips over really slowly on that yeah. recording. And I was going like this. <laughs> and then I was like, Annalise. And I like, it was like I zoomed back into what you were saying. And I was like, yeah. Like slow-mo. Yeah. It you was come literally back. like, it was frozen. I could just hear you talking in the distance. I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> Do you watch The Simpsons? Yeah, sometimes. It reminds me of like Homer, like when he zones out and then Marge is <laughs> yelling at him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That slow-mo. was me and you were talking like, I don't know. And I was like, <laughs> no, it was when you were talking about your girlfriend going clubbing because I think because I'd heard the story before. Yeah. I was like this. She was like, and I was like, like, people are so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. Okay. Let's get into the advice. Okay. Okay. So the first one is, what advice would you give your year seven self? Be honest. Honest completely honest like this might be really um shallow so start working out from now (laughs) and literally like i would give myself a training schedule wow and then like tell myself like every year this is what you're gonna do to train yeah this is so toxic but i would like i'd give myself like a training schedule yeah and i'd like cut things out of my diet that okay. I th- that like I abuse over the years, so like yeah. a McFlurries and frappes and oh shit. God, but like, listen, you need to slow it down with these because when you're by the time you're 21, you're gonna be like, fuck. It's all caught <laughs> up to you. Yeah, but like otherwise, I feel like I would say like, literally just keep being yourself. Like I think that's one thing I like about myself. I really stuck to what I liked. Like yeah. Like I was like in year 10 with like a bob cut and a front fringe because I thought it was cool as yeah. shit. And I used to dress really boyish and stuff growing yeah. up. Like I'd always like go to the fashion that I liked. Mm-hmm. So I feel like I would say like, just be yourself. I think in year seven, I got like, I moved to a new school and I had like a little bit of trouble at the start with like a couple people that like would say things to me or whatever. And I like, I took it to like, Hard. I don't know, like took it to heart a little bit. And like, I kind of like, like there was my, they're my friends now, but like they would like color in my hair and stuff. <laughs> when I was like, sitting there, color, they were coloring my hair and with Sharpie and it like, and I don't know why, like, I kind of just let it happen. I should have been like, fuck off. But, like, I didn't. <laughs> you just let it happen. So, like, yeah, low-key, I would change <laughs> that. But otherwise, like, just, like, I literally would tell myself, get a sport that you like or yeah. get a hobby. that Because you're because I think I thought I was too old to start things. I was 12. Like, I would tell yeah. myself, go start drumming lessons or go start doing this or go and, like, stick to it. So that by the time you're 21, you're like, you have, like, something you've done for 10 years. I think I would tell myself that. I resonate with that so much because I remember being in year seven and everyone did an instrument. And I was like, bitch, I can't do an instrument. I'm too old for it. Same. What do you mean you're too old? You're literally 12. Dude, like, pick literally. That shit up, that's such get that guitar, pick it up and use it. Literally, because I thought as well, I thought I'm too old to start. Like, you're a child. You don't realize. Bro, bro you literally just stop pissing the bed. Like, literally. Get your shit like, together. If I would give myself the advice, okay, start working out. So then by the time you're 21, you got a fatty. And <laughs> got a fatty. I literally start doing squats from that age. But I actually used to low-key be doing sit-ups and stuff since year Did seven. You really? look skinny for the swimming carnival, you know. Oh. But like I would get myself involved in more active. And like I think I would make myself play an instrument. Let me tell you about the swimming carnivals in my school. Okay. The one year that I actually participated, I wore a white t-shirt. White Big t-shirt. Big mistake. Big mistake. That shit went see-through. This was a wet t-shirt <laughs> Why contest. does everyone make that <laughs> mistake? The white t-shirt. I got in the water and I thought I was doing so good. Because you know you can't see everybody else. 
they literally had to stop me and be like, Frank, the race is over. Oh like, my God. And this is how <laughs> extra I am. Me. I didn't want to be the one to get out of the pool after everyone had finished. No. I faked having an asthma attack. Thank you. <laughs> I faked are the most an annoying attack. person. <laughs> you faked the fucking breaking your come. arm. And yes. You faked having it. Have you posted this on TikTok? I think so. I think I've heard this story. And the ambulance had to come and like my mum came. Yes. And yes, I just yes. <laughs> Wait, were you like lying on the floor or yes. some shit? Oh my God. I feel like I remember this story. And I got in the car with my mum. And my mom knows me. She's yeah. like, you don't really have, like, you didn't have an asthma attack, did you? I'm like, no. <laughs> mom, I'm sorry, I didn't. She goes, let's go get Maccas. Aww. My mom felt bad for me. That is so cute. She's the reason I'm That's fat. That's like going to make me cry of, like, your young self. No, let's not. Let's not go there. Literally, that, that is was funny me. as fuck. You pretended to have an asthma attack. For sure. I d- the embarrassment of getting out last. Not as bad as having the ambulance come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> Yo, I was like, no, something like that happened at my school. This girl, bro, <laughs> on the basketball court, she yeah. got hit in the head with the basketball. <laughs> I'm going to die. She got hit in the head with the basketball and she fainted. <laughs> this bitch did not need a faint. She was lying on the floor, right, 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 blacked out. Yeah. She didn't get up for so long that the school was like, fuck, so they called the ambulance and everyone was going <laughs> can't even say this. Everyone was circling her and we were all saying she's awake. <laughs> and she's going along with it because of the embarrassment to the yes. commit. She had to commit like, bro, oh I pretended God. to be knocked out. The ambulance is coming. I can't get up before the ambulance is here. She pretended to be knocked out so the ambulance came to her and put her on a damn stretcher and put it in the ambulance. And then apparently when I the paramedic came out, the mum was there yeah. and they were like going like, oh, you know, and then my friend was saying like that they were joking from far away. The paramedic was like, oh, she's just dead. It's <laughs> fine. But like the, she was literally fine. The ambulance was saying she it's was nothing. Yeah. But like she had committed herself to the embarrassment of getting hit in the head. Yeah. It was too much that she pretended to be knocked out cold until the ambulance got to the school. That I, is giving energy of you right now, bro. I've got another story. Okay, and I, I want to hear this. Literally a fainting story at school. Oh fuck! What is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've got another story. Attention, this whore! <laughs> I, 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 something like that happened. We're playing Chasey, and I fell over. Yeah. And it was embarrassing because my whole top went up. I felt uh, like this is too much. I acted yeah. like I hit my head and fainted. <laughs> so the teacher came, got the wheelchair out, like putting me onto the wheelchair. Mind you, had I really fainted, these bitches were picking me up. Like, that's Bro. not what you're meant to do. Yeah, they knew you. They, they, knew, they, they, knew. <laughs> they knew. At that point, it was like six times at the sick bay that week. So they knew. Got this wheelchair, gave it to me, rolled me outside. And they're I'm like... I'm dying that you thought the answer was... <laughs> Literally, Fainting. I thought the answer was make this more dramatic for yourself. <laughs> Have a full blown meltdown on the floor and act like you fainted. My mum came, same thing happened. She's like, Did you really faint? I'm like, Mum, to be honest, no. Yeah. Got Mac is. That's, that's your easy way out. Faint. Yeah. I knew that if I fainted or did something dramatic, my mum would just take me home. Because she's she was like, people, you're not staying at school. People who act out. I love how we like have gone off the year seven topic. Literally. People who act out things. I don't know how you guys commit to that because I'm really good at lying, right? I know it's yeah. bad, but like I'm a professional liar, but I get guilty. So I end up like exposing myself later. Cause really? I'm like, I can't. There was like a stage in grade three. Yeah. I get really bad. Like, um, like, com- I guess like, I don't know. Anyways, I was like going through this phase where every night I'd remember a lie. I told my mom like, oh, I pretended I couldn't see properly into glasses. Oh, I pretended this happened. And I'd get up and say, mom, I need to tell you this for like three weeks straight. Cause I have like, like borderline, like OCD, like needing to like say things like need to like um, expose myself and like whatever. I was getting like really obsessed and like couldn't sleep. Cause I'd think about, oh my God, one time I lied two years ago. Right. Yeah. So I can't, I, when I lie, like I get guilty. So I can never imagine actually like pulling it off <laughs> pulling like going through no no i pulled off a lie that. i pulled off lies in the past yeah. but like with the physical act because i knew this guy he told me this story where he was on the train he didn't have his mikey yeah. and these inspectors got on and he pretended to be asleep and he they were like sir sir and he was committed i would have started laughing i don't know Same. how he did it he was committed to pretending to be asleep for so long nah. he goes in his head i was thinking what the fuck do i do i'm gonna have to wake up so in his head he was thinking of this whole plan when he woke up he was like oh i'm sorry i'm from adelaide like he said all these lies lucky yeah. for some reason he had like an adelaide some kind of adelaide like um document yeah, yeah. That like he had from some, and he get, showed it to them, and he like made he up all away. these lies, and like he ended up getting away with it, and then he just got straight off the train and pretended he was at his stop. And I'm like, how do you pretend to sleep while a Mikey inspector is it's saying, "Excuse me" for so long? I okay. could not commit. My act thoughts, starts like. dying when somebody starts to get involved. Like if somebody was that day saying to me, "Frank, you didn't faint," I 100% would have laughed. Like I 100% <laughs> wouldn't have been able to get away with it. But 
I don't know. I, I appreciate somebody that can really commit to it. Because, like, I'm good, but I'm not that good. When it comes to the acting, I'll start laughing. Like, yeah, whenever same. my mom come would come in the room and I'd pretend to be asleep, I'd be like this. Yes, please. Like, I'll just start laughing. My favorite's when I would act asleep and my mom would come in and be like, Frank, I know you're not asleep. And then I would just start pissing. Cause yeah, I'd be like, literally. Who, why am I acting like I'm asleep? Like, yeah. she literally just walked into my room. Yeah. I just didn't want to talk to her. So I'm yeah. like, mom, fuck off. No, I would, Respectfully. Pretend, I would pretend I'm asleep. Like, if like my mom was going to ask me to do something. But, yes, like, even same. to this day, I would still do same. the same thing. Like, But I'll like be laughing to myself. My favorite thing to do is when someone's calling me and I'll miss their call. And I'll remember like an hour later and I'll pick it up and be like, I just wake up from my nap. Like, oh, I'm that's so smart. Sorry. That's smart. I'm like, I just saw what you were asking I watch for. people's phone call ring out. Like, I'm like, watch it ring out. I'm like, I'm not answering this. And I'll text them, sorry, I'm at work. Or like, sorry, Love I'm it. doing something. Because I'm like, I just can't. Yeah. It's the anxiety. I don't like when people I call. actually prefer FaceTimes. Yes. Because like, I can like, I'm you can same. see I'm doing something. Yeah. And it's easier to say bye. Yeah. I feel like then a phone call, it feels so formal. Yeah, it does. Um, I think I've got to give my advice for my Yeah, self. do it. My sorry, advice, we lost track. That's okay. My advice would be don't change yourself for other people Mm. i feel like in year seven i was so different like i was really like i was more extra than i am now Really, like i was really like trying to get people's attention like just saying things that like were dumb right like not insensitive like just dumb stuff just because i knew people would come and like yeah it was like shock value yeah um and it affected me to the point where i really didn't know myself and like i forgot who i really was And then it got to like year nine and I was like, why am I acting so different? Like Mm. no one in school knows who I really am. That's so interesting. Yeah. I was like so different. And then I just woke up one day and was like, I'm not acting anymore. Mm. I'm just going to be me. That just must come from like, from like literally childhood as well. And bullying. And like, yeah, literally like wanting to like be liked. Literally. Like Mm. I would make the joke about myself before anyone else could. I used to do that all the time. And yes, just because, racing. yeah, like just because I didn't want them to say things about me that like they thought I wouldn't know. So, um, yeah, just don't change yourself I was so much literally like, I remember calling myself fat when I was in grade three because I was chubby. Yeah. And I remember I would say like I was fat before anyone else could. Same. I do that too. Yeah. Oh, stop. That's my advice. That's good I advice. Play. Yeah, just don't Because like, you know what? Like, it's crazy how people like approached high school differently. Like, yeah. Mine was like yeah. I was I was being myself, but I was letting like shit happen that like I wouldn't let pass now because yeah. like I was like too scared. But yours was like you literally changed yourself to be liked. Or, I literally did. Or you did the most where you look back, you're like, yeah. you didn't need to be doing the most. Like literally, that. I look back and I feel embarrassed because it's like then people don't know who I really am. Mm. That's why I like TikTok because it gives me the chance to be myself. Exactly. So um, that's my that's why we, story. That's why we be sad when people come at us because we're yes. like, I'm finally being myself and you don't exactly. like it. And you're still saying something yeah. like, fuck off. Well, another <laughs> one that we have is... I just saw your eyes from the side <laughs> of the glasses. Like, well, it well. looks so funny. <laughs> um, I look like that dog meme with the eyes like... No, that's what you look like because I could just see it from the little crack in your eyes. Like, well... Um, another advice question we got was how do you recover from being dumped by someone you weren't even dating? I don't Mm. really know how to answer this. So I'll let you take that. I will try and give you the advice. Look, I have never been, I have never, I've never had that situation happen. Cause she's never had that. Happen. I've, Cause I've only ever had like one other, which one day we should do a relationship, a whole video on like past mm-hmm. relationships and all that. Please. I've only ever had like another boyfriend, which was like three weeks. Okay. Um, I was my friend first and like I had to end it cause my dad made me. So like, can't re- like, sorry dad. The only thing I would say is like, if you weren't actually dating, you didn't get to see the real them. Like until yeah. you're really with someone is when you get to see the real them, the goods and the bads. Yeah. So like if they've dumped you before you were ever really together, mm. like they're going to be easier to get over than you thought. Like, yeah. Within like a few weeks sure. and you find someone new, it's going to be a lot easier to get over. Oh, that's my what I think because yeah. that's what's happened to me in the past. Yeah. Like getting over someone that you didn't know really fully inside and out because easy. The, I think people say this as well. Like if I was to break up with my boyfriend now, I feel like I'd feel this experience. It's like grieving because yeah, you grieve the somebody. person you had is, yeah. compl- is gone, right? And it's so like true. trying to like like live life without them but if you were never proper dating this someone dating someone i feel like it'd be easy i feel like it's easier yeah. because it's like you know what we were never official we were never like boyfriend girlfriend i didn't call him my boyfriend yeah. or we weren't like you know together all the time like a couple would be yeah so i feel like that process of getting over you just have to be patient everything heals with time it's a lot faster or maybe just to be devil's advocate maybe it's harder because 
you think about the life you what would have had. What could have been. Yeah, what could have been. <laughs> yeah, this, I was about to say that Maybe too. Because like that. I think people, are, people. I was going to say, I've yeah. seen a video on TikTok where someone says it's actually worse for people with what could have been. I'm not that type of person though. So that's why I think like. I think same. Like I, I wouldn't care. Yeah, I would be like, whatever. Yeah. Especially if someone dumped me, that would make me hate them. I think the thing that would be hard about that would be the rejection. Yeah. Not losing them because you know what? It's There's the someone else who's gonna can love you more, but it's that rejection aspect. It's the punch to your ego, really. Because yeah. it's like, why didn't they want me? Like, yeah. what's wrong with me? Literally. Personally, I'm very codependent. But hang on one second. Yeah. If you were never actually together and they dumped you, they never got to see who you really, really were. So it's not like they're dumping True. this person who Snaps. they were like, oh, you're like amazing. Like, yeah, they didn't you really know, know you. They didn't know you properly. So don't take it to heart. Like yeah. if you got to show them how amazing you would have been as a partner. Exactly. Then fair enough. Being sad, they dumped you. <laughs> but I mean, if like you were just talking, it's not. Yeah. Just get over it. But what it. were you going to say just then? Um, oh, I'm very codependent. Yeah. So... But I'm at the same time very independent. Does that make mm, sense? Okay. But when I'm with my girlfriend, I want all her attention. Yeah, I understand. So I'm like that too. I feel like if I woke up one day and we both broke up, I don't know how I would live. Oh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't survive. I don't know how I would get over the, it. No, but you know what's worse no with me? What's worse with me? And this is toxic. But like, yeah. Uh, breaking up with my boyfriend, I can imagine maybe getting moving on. But like, I'd still always be sad, like about yes. in the background. Yeah. But the idea of him moving on. I think I would literally like lose my effing mind. We're the same person. I'm so jealous like that. I said to my boyfriend, I'm I'm like, if you get a new girlfriend, I will literally beat the shit out of it. And he goes, well, then your new boyfriend (laughs) will be mad that you still care. I go, I don't give a fuck. Me and my new boyfriend will beat the shit out of both of you. We will come there and beat the shit out of both of you. Like, what do you mean? Literally. Like, I can't. The idea of like my boyfriend getting over me and me not being his favorite girl in the world, I would like lose my mind. I think that would hurt because I'd be like, how can you get over me? Like, Literally. I, I don't was, think I could be gotten over uh, by no, my boyfriend. I'm no sorry, way. but once you've loved me, you're always going to love me. Plus seven years. And seven like years me and my boyfriend, time. two and a half years. It's a long like, time. It is. And it's like, yes, it's, it's like it becomes your new everyday like life. Yes, to be that especially like when you've grown up together. Oh, like, well, with you guys. Yeah, yeah you've we grown grew up, up together. together. Like, I feel like for one day we just broke up. Uh, I would not it know make what sense. to do. It wouldn't make you sense. You guys are full life. It's just soulmates. You'll be together forever. No matter what, we'll always be in each other's lives. Even if you break up, she's just... my person. Yeah, yeah, I, I love my that. person. I love that. I feel like that with my boyfriend too. But Isn't it fun to find that person? Literally, the <laughs> da- the time my boyfriend told me like you're like you're my soulmate, I was literally gonna cry. Like, but the thing about me is, I'm like, oh, I'm not that I'm a shallow person, but I'm a very like. I'm not very like sparks fly. Like, <laughs> I'm not like that. You know what I mean? Like, I'm very Miranda like. Miranda Cosgrove. I'm very like a. You know, like, what's that thing where it's, like, in the moment, like... Oh, like, you're a realist, kind of. Yeah, so, like, so like I, like, I feel the love with my boyfriend. Like, if we're together and he's, like, giving me a backstretch, I feel the love. But if he's away from me and he's not talking to me, I feel like it's... Not that it's not there, but I feel like, uh... Do you I'm know what say, I mean? No, the way I'm the exact same. Yeah. When my girlfriend's right here, I'm like, I can tell she loves me. When we're not together, I'm like, does that bitch actually Even like sometimes me? when we're not together, I'm like... But then when yes. I'm with him, I'm like, I love you so much. But sometimes when we're not together, we don't see each other for like four days. I'm like, ugh. Do you know what I mean? So like, <laughs> no, I get it. So I get like it. usually stuff like that, like saying you're my soulmate, like that was never important to me. Finding my soulmate yeah. was never important to me. Yeah. I've never been a relationships person. Yeah. I've always like, I don't know, just never have just been. Not you. My boyfriend has been. Yeah. So it's like he, anyways, it's like how you are as a person. Yeah. Different. Like, but like, so when he told me that, I didn't think that I was going to like, be like, have oh, a reaction but like I was that. like, <laughs> I was so excited. It's very flattering. Like, yeah, it's, I was like, I was like, oh. I don't know if your boyfriend's like this, but my girlfriend doesn't like, she's not very lovey dovey. Okay. And like, when she does have her moments where she tells me that she really loves me, I'm like, it's, I know that took a lot for you. Oh, so, that's cute. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. No, Whereas, I love that. I, I think I love Bomb a little bit. Yeah. Like, I really tell her I love her all the time. Oh, that's beautiful, though. Yeah, but, but she's good. the opposite. Which is, But good. that's good. That works. Yeah, that works. It works. Literally. It works. But she needs to know that she needs to be thinking about me every day. Yeah, like, I literally day. tell my boyfriend, like, and he's like, I think about you all the time. I'm like, yeah, but because, like, my boyfriend, he he's very, like, in person, he's yeah. very, like, like lovey, lovey. But yeah. then online, he's very, like, chill. Yes. Versus I'm, like, trying to FaceTime every two seconds. Like, yeah. all this stuff. Like, the other day, he sent me a TikTok that was, like, how I feel when I'm with my girlfriend. It's, like, all these different pictures of dogs smiling and all this, like, these memes about being with your girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh. Aww. Like, that's the nicest thing you've ever done. Because he misses you. Yeah. But it's, Stop. like, it's actually sweet when people it who is. are like that do something. Like, not that my boyfriend, yes. he's not, he's very affectionate, but, like, when he does something where it looks like he's obsessed with me for like one second, I'm like, ah, yes. I love it. Cause usually I'm like that. I'm yeah. That cause person. I like, I think I like the feeling of being obsessed. Yeah. But someone, or being someone obsessed, obsessed with me. over me. Same. So I think it's, it's back again to the attention thing. I'm yeah, just same. a whore for attention. Same. But, um, what was I saying about my girlfriend? Oh, 
I don't know how you get your boyfriend to do TikToks with you because the amount of like begging it would take for me to get her Dude. into something, she hates doing anything like that. Mm. Taking photos, I um, have doing a TikTok. No. She hates it. I have literally cried before because my boyfriend just wouldn't do a TikTok with me because I Same. yelled at him because he did the wrong thing. <laughs> I was like, "Don't Same. do it like that." He's like, "I'm not doing Same. it." Like, I'm sorry, I'm strict about my photos, my TikToks. I know what looks good. Yes, but like I, he likes it. Like. If he can be made to look good, he wants to look good in it. Yeah. Like he wants to make sure my hair looks fine. Like, you know. Yeah. And if it looks like, like if, if the video does, if he doesn't like it on his first person, but if it starts getting likes, he's happy. That's the same with my girlfriend. <laughs> I'm like, bitch, you're just like me. But like trying me. to get them to do it is hard. It's yeah. so hard. I'm the same way. If the, she starts doing something in the video that's off and I get like angry, but it's me not too, actual though. anger. It's more like frustration. So I'm like, can you please just do it like this? Like it's you not want hard. You it to be perfect. Yes. I'm like, it's not hard. Just do it like this. And then she'll be like, I'm not doing it anymore. That's my boyfriend. Oh no, stop. I'm like, Josh? bitch, it's not that hard. Yeah. Yeah, Tennille. Seriously, anyway. guys. We just want, we just like a great, we like perfection. Literally. And we know what you're capable of. Exactly. I just want you to make a cameo every now and again. Yeah. It's not every damn video. Dude, when we made that video where Josh was pretending to be like me. Yeah, that was funny. The amount of, we literally had to stop filming in the middle of it. We had a fight because I was telling really? him you're not doing it good. Because he did something that was not like me at all. And I was like, I don't do that. I think that video broke everybody up because that happened with me too with Tanil. Yeah. I was acting like her and I was doing things and she's like, I don't do things like that. I'm like, you do though. Mm. Biggest arguments out of nowhere, like yeah. over little shit like that. We literally, because, and even oh. like, he ran out of ideas at one point. I'm like, are you fucking serious? I'm <laughs> do the you most, not know me? I'm literally the most card drink character person. Like, I have so many ideas for you because when my dad did it with me, he had so many, like, well, actually, my dad didn't. Something, it's just a bit something about men, I guess. But my mum mm. was telling my dad, what about when she does this, this, this? Yeah. My mum, because your mum, mum roasts me low key. She's yeah. like, what about when she does this and she doesn't want to eat the food because it's not healthy, but then she gets me breeds. And I'm like, funny. my mum knew everything. And my boyfriend, when he couldn't think of stuff, I got mad at him. I was really? like, you don't even know me. You don't me. even know me. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, I think it was a bit of that with my girlfriend. Yeah. I feel like she was like, I don't do it like that. You're being annoying. Yeah. I'm like, bro, you actually do things like that. It's not my fault. But anyways, moving on. <laughs> Us just being annoying partners. I don't know, bad. Ten minutes straight, this whole section is I just I actually like feel bad partner. for my girlfriend because yeah. I must be a lot to deal with. No, literally, I feel like the, to my boyfriend as well, I'm definitely a lot to deal with. Oh, well, you chose me. That's unlucky for if you. If you want to be with a bad bitch, then... That's what you get. If you want to be with someone that actually has a personality and is entertaining, then you're going to have to get, like, the crazy side. That's what it comes down to. Like, we just have really strong personalities. So if there's a strong... If someone is really, like, out there funny all this stuff yeah. they're gonna be annoying like you don't yes. get that without the annoying side like exactly. think about it you don't it's a bit of both it's like when you see someone in in a movie and you and then when you see how they act in interviews and you realize they're a theater kid yeah because they're an actor like Literally. they had to be a theater kid like yes. everyone in the office theater kids exactly <laughs> like if you no, think about it like mean. all the people so in avengers true. theater kids like that's how they're actors they're theater so kids. true did you ever do theater yeah, I did musical theatre in like when I was younger. Yeah. And then I did like th um, drama in year nine and I got the best actress award. Wow. And I wrote a whole play as well. Oh, you've told me about yeah, this. That That's fun. Yeah. I um I auditioned for Hairspray at my school and then Oh really? I didn't get it. I wish my school did. I like, didn't get it. But was it, that's a music. I don't like the it was singing. Like a full I don't musical. sing. Yeah. Like I just wanted to be the mum in Hairspray. Oh my god, that's such a vibe. <laughs> I feel like it would have been that so been fucking funny. funny. As, yeah. But they gave it to like the kid that they would eat his ass every day and be like, oh, he's so funny. Guys, he was fucking boring. No offense. Nah, you could have done it. You could have been I so, so funny could have done it. The fat suit. I wouldn't even needed the fat suit. I oh could my have just God, done I'm it. dead. But why Put is that iconic though? It would have been so funny, but it didn't happen. Why am I imagining you with your beard now though doing that? Could you imagine? Yeah, like <laughs> just the my beard, beard. The bearded mum. And just like a big wig. That's funny. Oh, anyway, the next piece of advice we've got is from my friend Crystal. Okay. like Crystal, but she said... My ex-boyfriend came out as gay and I think I was the last girl to kiss him. How should I feel about it? <laughs> first or, of all. <laughs> first of all. Crystal, congrats. Yeah, um, I literally, I don't know. I think I would be like, so I was what made you decide, yep, yeah, it's officially not girls anymore. Yeah, like there, there's something there where it's like he found out with you. That it was like oh, I don't like girls. Yeah, so. <laughs> he was like, it's it's not that you completely turned him. He probably, he obviously was always like, yeah, he was there, thinking he liked maybe either, and like maybe yeah. yours was like the final, like yeah, yeah, you're done. Maybe you made him feel like hello, I can come out of the closet. Like maybe it's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, you know what? You side. gave him the confidence. You helped him come out. In That's a way. funny though. That's a funny that situation. Funny. Unlucky Crystal. Sorry, but that is so that funny. is funny. <laughs> I'm so sorry to her. Funny. Um, 
what the fuck was that? I funny. Funny. I, I don't have advice for that. I think that's There's just, you no gotta just laugh. I literally just had to read it because it was funny. And tell that as a story. Like, to yeah. people, like, this funny story about that's myself. A funny story. When you have to do icebreakers in uni, just say, yeah. Or like a By job interview. Way, yeah. Like when they're like, tell us an interesting thing about yourself. Well, what happens? I can turn <laughs> men. <laughs> I make guys realize they're gay. <laughs> <laughs> that's my superpower. She's funny for you that. You have a superpower. She is funny for that. Next one is, what's your thoughts on people with toe fetishes? Um, I actually talked to my boyfriend about this the other day. I was like, I don't know how it comes about. I think it comes a well, my idea is it comes about from porn. Yeah. I reckon they are what make it sexualized. Yeah. So I don't know when people have it. I don't know. Like I understand the idea of thinking someone's feet. Like I sometimes used to think that guys feet like had a certain look to them that I liked. Like guys feet and hands. Okay. I'm like, oh, some are nice because it like looks like a boy, yeah, like yeah. manly. But I wouldn't see like it as veiny. like, yeah, like yeah. veiny or like the way that like the feet look, how they got hair. Like, I don't know, something about it. Like, that's like a vibe. But like, <laughs> Hairy toes. And I understand, <laughs> I understand how some girls' feet are really cute. Like some people have nice feet. Yeah. But I don't understand looking at it and getting turned like, on. Nasally, turned on. So I knew I. someone who their mum used to work at this guy's house oh. who had a foot fetish. Yeah. And he would come over and tell... She used to always wear thongs. He'd tell her to wear clothes, to like shoes when he came to her house because he can't see that because he would get turned on. That's weird. That is a bit weird. That is a bit like, whoa. That's where I don't even think it comes from porn. I think that's like a... Yeah, the it's the in the brain thing. But I think everything's just over-sexualized. Like yeah, if 100%. you sexualize feet, then someone's going to find them attractive. I just want to know what they're looking at. Like, is it the toes? Is I think it, it's the toes. Is it like the shape of your foot? What the fuck is I it? I thought it was just, a, I I thought, oh, maybe it's kind of cute. Like, because feet can, girls' feet can be cute. Yeah. So maybe it's like this cute idea because it kind of like, there's no like maybe nudity. Oh, maybe. Weird, like, because like nakedness. Yeah. But like, if you're watching videos of just people's feet, you're paying for pe- feet pics or you're wanting people to do things with their feet. I don't get that because feet are like, my boyfriend literally hates feet. He's like, I they're dirty, yeah. all this stuff. I'm like one of those people where I love like people touching my feet. Like I like to like, to like make my boyfriend do like this on my foot because oh, I like how it feels. It. I can't. Why am I like being exposed like a foot fetish I- person? <laughs> I'm not, but like I Guys, love like feet that. touching my Nick feet. Knock one two three has a foot fetish. Dude, me and my best friend always like touch, like we'll like have each other's feet touching because it just feels nice. I hate like I'm the same really? with your boyfriend. I can't do feet. I can't. But in saying that, if someone asks me to sell feet like pics, I would be doing it. Yeah. Like if someone came to me and was like, I've had that before on Instagram, but I don't yeah. think it's real. They're like, I'll pay you two hundred bucks for yeah, your feet pics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like. Take them. I actually got this um, download this thing where you could sell feet pics on, but feet then I didn't, I didn't go. Yeah, I didn't go ahead yeah. with it because I was like scared. I don't know if you ever did this, but back in the day, there was something called Seeking Arrangements. It was mm. like for sugar daddies. I have an account on there, but I never actually did it. Me and my friends, we all signed up for it. Yeah. To see. One of my friends did really well. Really? But she never went on these dates Yeah, or I got an account, but I was too scared. Too, way too scared. There was one guy that was willing to pay me lots of money to do one thing. And I was like, it's not happening. Yeah. I can't. Like, yeah, I think because the, you're always going to remember for the rest of your yeah, life that you did that. I think the idea of like someone wanting me to pay, f- t- paying me to do it mm. is like fun, but actually doing it, no. not for me. Because then you'd have to like really like. Because you'd always remember that. Always remember that you yeah. did that. And like you'd be like, and especially if you're in a relationship too. Yeah. You're like guilt. <laughs> guilty. No way. Um, That's so funny that someone asked yeah. the toe question. For me personally, I find it a bit gross. Because I, I just don't like feet. That's why. Not not kink shaming anybody. I just do not like feet. I don't understand where it comes from and how it can become actually like to look yeah. at that and feel turned on. But I understand feet looking nice because I think some people have nice feet and I'm jealous. Like pretty feet. I think it's because I don't have the cutest feet. I have very Greek toes with like the second toes a little bit longer. Yes. So if I, I've, and like I've got bigger feet. My feet size nine, right? So mm. I've always like picked up when someone has nicer feet. Yeah. So I maybe I can understand because I, can, I come from this idea where I'm like, that foot looks better than that foot. My toes kind of like curl like that a little bit at the front. Yeah, that's what my second toe does because yeah. it's, it wants to be short. It wants yes. to be short of its like. So it's like this. Yeah. It's so ugly. It's my like toes perfect. are really messed up right now because um, basically I bought these shoes from Sheen. Cancel me if you want. I shouldn't have oh. done it. I wore them to a rave and when I got home, I'm like, oh, my toes feel really weird. Like my toes feel like cold. And then whatever, the next day I went to put my runners on, my toes felt weird again. I'm like, nah, whatever. Yeah. Two weeks later, I'm wearing socks at an op shop. I take my shoes off and there's like liquid on like my sock. And I'm like, what the fuck? My toe Ooh. is leaking liquid. I get home, I take my toe and I polish and my toes look a bit like a weird color. I'm like, this is fucking weird. Whatever. I trim them. The following week, my toes start turning like brown, like brownie, like my toenail, not the actual toe, the toenails on both foot. 
And I was like, what is happening? I let it go for another week. I'm like, nah, they're turning dark. Like I need to go to the foot doctor. Damn. One toe is like dark, like bruised color, like yeah. turning black. And another toe is like half yellowy, like a toenail. Oh my I go God. to the foot doctor. He's like, yep. So this toenail is bruised. Like underneath is all blood from the bruise. Yeah. And the other toenail is bruised, but also because you're wearing socks and had toenail polish on, you've developed a, a nail fungus. So you need to stop wearing nail polish. You need to cut your toenails really short and your toenails are going to fall off. So what I have been going about my in? life for the past three months. <gasps> my toenail on my left foot, just the top half. The to- I'm lucky I didn't get the whole toenail falling off. But yeah. the toenail on the right, the top half of the nail, because there's like a bottom layer of your nail, the yeah. top half fell off. Ooh. And the bottom half of the other one, the top half of the other one just fell off like two days ago. Ow. So my toenails are growing back normal, but now they're really short. <laughs> just a PSA, but guys. Yeah, so if you back. see me in summer, don't look at my toes. I'm very like... Oh my God, and the Havianas on. Are they Havianas or Havanas? Hava- Havianas. I say Havanas, to be honest. Havana Brown. Havana um, Brown. Yeah, they're getting yeah. better, but I have some photos of like, they looked fucked, but like... Don't wear, especially platforms, if they're too tight, I do not recommend doing it because Ooh. your toes, what happens is if your toenails are slightly long, they get pushed on the end. If they're being pushed down, they get lifted. So they get like lifted because they're being loosened. So uh. the skin breaks underneath. Uh. So they get bruised and the skin gets broken. Yeah, it was really messy. Ow, it's your poor feet. So that's why Fuck you, Sheen. I can't sell foot pics. <laughs> F you, that's Sheen. Why. Yeah. Guys, I hate the fact that like I have to cough after every laugh I do. Really? It's from vaping. Oh, no way. Guys, I fucked Dude, my lungs up. Dude, I... There was one weekend <sighs> actually... Funny we're talking about this. It was yeah. the same weekend that I broke my toes. Yeah. Because I will, I remember I went out the next night with a short toes. Yeah. That weekend I vaped two nights in a row. I couldn't breathe for a week. It's I was so like bad. <sighs> it's really not worth it. Yeah, it's But not. in saying that, the vape I have at the moment is so pretty. Really? Let me get it out, I guys. Go, I need to go buy one. Look how cute that I, is. People have asked me. I only vape on a night. If I'm on a night out and I'm drinking, I vape yeah. for the social aspect. It's similar to like when you go out for a smoke. Yes. Only when you drink. Have but you like, smoked before? Yeah, I've smoked a few times like a cigarette yeah. like when I've been drinking. Yeah. But then like when I discovered vaping, I don't vape during the week. I never would. Like I don't like how it feels. But yeah. when I'm drinking, me and my boyfriend have a vape and like that's it. I would cute. never be addicted. I'm not an addictive person, only to shopping. Oh, see, I've yeah, I'm bad with shopping, but I've just got an addictive personality where yeah. I just get obsessed about things. I take it back. I do get addicted to things, but just not vapes for some reason. But like yeah. shopping, shopping, um, like just that r- TV like, show. taking photos. I get addicted. I write lists. It's TikTok Please. sometimes get addicted to like video content creating. Oh, no, it's bad. Yeah. No, I'm the same like that. I Dopamine think, hit. Yes, it is. It literally is. Shopping is a bad one though. When I was working for, I can't say the company, but I was working for a government agency um, through COVID. So that's like the biggest hint. I was making like four grand a fortnight. Wow. So I was going shopping literally whenever I could online. And then when shops opened up, I went fucking crazy. Damn. I think... The biggest shopping spree I did was like two. But and then a half that's grand. why your outfit right now, his outfit is dripped out. Like Thank he you says so that, much. and he's wearing the most drippy outfit. Thank you so much. I spent like two and a half grand one day when I went shopping. Wow. And that's when I'm like, I've got a problem. Like, Fuck, that's, that's a bad. lot of money for no reason. Mm. I haven't shown you upstairs, but I've got a spare room, and it's literally just my. Okay, wardrobe. I'll have to look at it after. Yeah, I want to see. It's so messy, but you can see it. It's okay. just like all my clothes and shit. I like and all my shopping shoes. Is the best thing ever. I love shopping. I love shopping. It's actually I just, really bad. I like um having like i don't have one certain aesthetic i feel yeah i feel like i do a bunch of different I do things the same thing yeah yeah so like i like you having, have to buy for all of them though because every yes because one day i'll wake up and be like i want to dress like i'm from the 2000s yeah. then another day i'll wake up i want to be from the 90s so i need to have the things there that i can make outfits out of fashion fashion can be really addictive yeah i feel like fashion is such a great way to um express yourself especially yeah. If you, not that we love, we love attention. Yeah. But it's like, it's a good Duh. way for you to go out and like. <laughs> I dropped the iPad. Oh my God. Go, yeah. It's a good way for you to go out and like show a piece of who you are yes. to everybody without talking. Yes. So like, that's why I feel like having different aesthetics. I feel like it's healthy to like, I don't know. I feel like liking things. Like I told my boyfriend, you need to like get Pinterest and have aesthetic boards or pin things that you like. Because I think it's healthy to have interests and things yeah, you like and stuff course. like that until it becomes toxic like us buying non-stop literally like just spending loads of money on clothes literally like it's but i don't take it back sorry i love all my clothes yeah i love all my clothes too i love and i can't like i want to donate stuff oh, but then you, i know i miss them i go through i know i miss them i get rid of so much clothes like every couple of months and i, I sell them on my knick knocks closet or i donate them or yeah. give them to my friends but it's always stuff that brands have sent me yeah 
or stuff that if I'm like, I haven't touched it in six months, I'll get rid of it. But it is hard. There's is a lot hard. of things I don't oh get rid God. of and I never touch anyway. Yeah. Because like I'm attached to it. But like, that's the issue. The more stuff I've been, like I've now, mm. everything I've got, slay pieces. I keep buying more slay pieces. No room in my wardrobe though. Because usually there's always been room for me to get rid of 10 things that I hate. But really? now there's nothing to get rid of. There's yeah. no room. Yeah, I'm I'm at the same thing where I've got no room. I've got like these three um poles in my wardrobe full. Full and then all of like the other cupboard bits all full. Like I've got no space. You for know shit. what the issue is? I have every size of clothes, extra small to large. Every size for when I'm at yeah. every different weight of the year. <laughs> Please, thank you so much. Literally, I've got one pair of jeans that I can never throw out because they're my fat jeans. Just in case I ever get to there again. That is me with they my. Will fit me. That is me with this. I, no, I got rid of them recently, but I got this pair of jeans that were always too small for me. But I bought them anyway. Yeah. And I was like, one day I'm gonna fit. One day I'm gonna fit. No, nah, I got rid of them by accident. Yeah. I thought they were a different pair of jeans and I accidentally donated them and I was going to cry. They were size nine, low rise flare country road Ooh. pants, dark denim. They were hot as brand new from Savers. Yum. Um, and I accidentally got rid of them and I like was really, really upset by it. Yeah. But um, net was never going to fit, but I kept them for so long thinking I would. What's one place that you shop that people would be surprised at? <laughs> the silence. <Like> the- <laughs> silence. Brick, I don't know. I feel like. Mine, big W. Oh, I got these pants dude, from Big W. Big W has good shit. No, yes. I love their underwear there. Okay. Yeah, like underwear and shit from there too. But these but like pants they're, were they're like bonds. 15 bucks and yeah. they're my favorite pants. Yeah. One, they're comfortable, but then two, they're still in. They're like cargoes. Um, yeah. I bought, I think Kmart, but like yeah, I get Kmart. like p- men's pants from Kmart. I've got that a few times. Okay. Otherwise, like, honestly, I don't know. Like, I don't know where the, I always shop from the same places. Like, I don't think it'd be surprising. Like Dolls Kill. Dolls Kill. I like op shopping. A lot of my stuff is op shopping. Yep. Um, like brands sending me stuff. Yep. And then like IMGR, Tiger Mist. Like nice. I'm a basic bitch. Love like, I don't that. think there's anywhere that would be surprising. Maybe like if people don't know that I go op shopping. Oh, maybe. They'd the be wh- like, whoa. But like, cause sometimes people like, are like, whoa. where is this from? I'm like, um, op shop. Savers in 2016. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> go back and get it guys. Um, I don't think mine's Big W. That's good. I like that. Big W and the women's section. Oh, okay. That's all I shop in because, mm. sorry, but everything in cotton on made for men is fucking ugly. Like yeah, it is. All beige or like really like neutral colors. Yeah. Which I'm not a Kardashian. Like I want to look fucking fun. Yeah, no, no, fair enough. So I like, get you. All the shirts and like some jeans and shit, I'll just get from the women's section. Or Dimmies. Or Dimmies. <gasps> Dimmies in Coburg has some Y2K stuff sometimes. Yes, it does. The way I went there like maybe two months ago and they had like this Bratz rug and I was like... Are you serious? Yeah, full Bratz rug. And I was like, this is literally from like 2004. I they can have tell. Some good sh- I have these some cute shiglets from there from back in the day. Oh, I love Dimmies. Literally. Love it. But um, yeah, that's that was my question. I don't... I'm, I feel bad that I don't have an answer. That. I feel like I'm very predictable <laughs> in that sense. No, but I think, um, I think everyone will probably say this. Like your style is so you. Thanks. Does that make sense? Like, and you do it the best out of most people that I've seen. Stop. Thank you. I because appreciate that. You take like the little things that people don't do. Mm. Like, cause it's very easy to say, oh, I'm wearing a nineties outfit and it's like a shirt and a pair of baggy yeah. jeans. You do like the little things like the cardigan you'll wear or like the, the length of the jeans. Like uh, you just know what you're doing. Thank you. Well, I know. I feel you like, know what you're doing. I feel like I always, I was so obsessed and I feel like it's a lot with that generation, but like we grew up in the time where two thousands movies were around but we were kids so we didn't have we weren't dressing like them like nothing like that so i think i'm just living out my dreams of when i was young yeah and i appreciate like the fashion and like i hate when a brand will say it's a low-rise pair of jeans and it's mid-rise i hate when someone thinks they're wearing low-rise jeans but the crotch goes all the way down to their knees because it's like the pants are falling down it's like low-rise is meant to be this big it's meant to just come above your chooch and that's it that's true low-rise Bro, I just got flashback to my mum when she would say that to my sister. Really? Yeah, I'm like, damn, I haven't heard that in forever. <laughs> You're church. But literally, no, I stole the word church so right. from Italians. Yeah. It's literally an Italian word. It's to say. the Italians. But like, Chucci. literally, like, I, when I feel like if you want to do the Y2K, you got to yeah. do the tackiness of it and you got to do the uncomfortableness of it. Yeah. You got to go out and if you sit down, you feel like your ass crack is out. You're doing it right. You're doing it right. <laughs> if you've got like the Kimmy whale tail going on, literally, you're doing it literally right. You, you have to do the stuff that you feel like it's a little bit uncomfortable, a little bit impractical. Yeah. You might look a little bit tacky. Someone might look at you like, oh, I would never wear that. But like, then you're committing to the look. <laughs> My mum is probably like the one person that got me into liking clothes and dressing. Yeah. She would always dress us really well as kids. 
but the way my mum would wear like a full juicy tracksuit to school to come pick me up That's with like so her juicy bag, her big glasses on. Like mm-hmm. my mum was so into fashion, like her mini skirts, everything. Did your sisters wear all her clothes now? My mum would not let that happen. Does she still have them though? Yeah. Slay. My mum keeps <laughs> everything. My mum has everything. all her stuff from the 80s. Really? And like some 90s stuff, but she didn't wear any. The 2000s is when we were all born, so she was having kids. She wasn't doing yeah. the fashion. She was like yeah. moved on by that point. Oh, my mum was so into it. Was your mum young when she had you? Yeah, my mum was 24, I think, when she had me. Oh, okay. So she was a bit younger than my mum. That's why. My mum yeah. was like 27 when she had me. And like I remember when I was in like primary school, I was like, oh, my mum's like 30. And everyone's like, my mum's like 60. Oh, there like, was some bro. people. It's always the Aussies. Their yes. mums be like old. Yes, but, real like, old. But like, that's bad. But like, no, no. Their, their parents are like older. And I always be like, oh, because like, not that my parents are old they're probably like around like the usual age yeah yeah but like i knew someone who was like 13 and their mom was 30 and i'd be like oh love that yeah like your mom's 30 damn that's kind of slight though i kind of wish i had that where like i grew up with my mom in even a though like when people post about that it's not the ideal life most of the time like no, it's not financially and stuff yeah but it seems iconic it does imagine mm. growing up with your mom being best uh, actually my mom is my and best friend yeah well there you go so yeah. you don't have to imagine <laughs> no she's my bestie she loves it um she loves it what to do <laughs> the eye through the side <laughs> she loves it um what to do when you're okay they don't know english what to do when you oh how do you even read that become sneaky links and he gets you pregnant um date them again i guess <laughs> like it, you guys are back together that's then. your family if you're taking it if you take the sneaky links that serious you're you guys back are together dating. At that point, saying sneaky link is really wrong. Like, that's your full husband. Yeah, that is like, your man. At that point, get married and have that baby. Um, <laughs> What do you do? I don't know. Like, get married. <laughs> don't have to get married. Literally. But, like, be together, I guess. It if depends on if you want the kid or not. With the pregnancy, just be together. Yeah, just be together. Try to make it work. And if it doesn't, oh well. I'm the biggest advocate. Did I say this last time? I feel like I'm repeating myself, but I'm the biggest advocate of getting getting back with your ex if it makes you happy. I literally don't care like if you guys argued all the time. Yeah. If you feel so sad without him, yeah. just be with him. Like, why spend a year being sad trying to get over someone when you could just get over get over what you guys had and get back together? <laughs> Unless he cheated on you or something, then F that. But if you guys broke yes. up because, oh, we weren't feeling it. I would not, I don't know, because once again, I'm a short-term fixed person. Yeah. I don't want to spend three months being sad or six months being sad getting over someone. No. I'll just stay with them <laughs> and You're be <so> happy. <laughs> I don't care. I think I'm kind of the same like that. Very short-term, like something quick and easy. Like, I can't imagine. I love like, it. I can't think like, you know what? In a year's time, I'll be a new person. I oh. don't care. No, I no. want to be happy now. Yes. I don't want to even be, I don't want to be sad. I never want to be sad. The dumbest excuse I recently heard about why someone broke up is because the guy was like, Right girl, wrong time. What the fuck does that mean? Shut up. No, Bro, no such thing. Just it's say literally you go and no be a such thing whore. as right person, wrong time. Because if they're the right person, you're gonna go through everything with them. Exactly. The trials and tribulations. Come you on. You meet people at the right time in life. Like I don't believe in. Wrong I think timing. everything happens for a reason. I'm always I'm the an exact advocate. same. I'm the exact same. Everything I've always said, and that's my way of dealing with when something upsetting happens. I tell myself it happened for a reason. Exactly. Like, I was meant to go through this. This needed to happen. Yeah. yeah. Like this needed to happen because otherwise it puts purpose to everything and helps yes. you get over things as well. It's like that. Kim Is that K made meme. out of Lego? Yeah, it's made out oh, of Lego. Cool. It's like that Kim K Sorry. meme, um, meme where she's like talking about her robbery and she's like, "I just know it was meant to happen to me." Yeah, that's literally how I feel. Yeah, like it's meant to happen to me. All the it teaches things, you all the good something. Things it was meant to happen. Literally. And yeah, it teaches you something. I love how this person asks what to do, and we're like, <laughs> everything happens for a reason. You <laughs> everything got happens for, for a reason. reason. Um, yeah, that's my advice on that topic. No, I think I think. Like with that person, like yeah, just go back with your ex, go back her. with him, like have I, the baby. I maybe. feel like you just be happy. Like that's why I think also yeah. comes with like the things like shopping addictions and stuff. It's like when yeah. you feel sad, you shop, and it fixes it for you to get the dopamine for a split second. It's like yeah. I need to learn to kind of sit in the emotion. Do you regret a purchase after you've bought it? Do you have oh, buyer's so regret? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll like Same. shake. Like sometimes after I buy something, she shake. Like <laughs> damn, she's sitting there shaking. No, but like I will feel immense guilt like i'll yeah. feel sick at myself like yeah. after i spend a lot of money on an order yeah i will feel like what oh, especially or like i bought something that was really expensive and when i wore it wore it out it was like not and i was like oh. like the guilt and when i think about i can't think about it because i feel sick and i have to lie to myself no i'm glad i bought that i'm kind of like that with them jeans the jeans i showed you i bought them no. for like 280 dollars. no i'm sorry but they're hot jeans they're hot i though, love them they? though they're but so i get hot. you but like they're hot so don't worry after i bought them and he full tailored them and shit to me i left and i was like i just spent 350 dude imagine it with an oversized white ed hardy's t-shirt 
Thank you I'm so sorry, much. they're you hot the jeans. Vision. They're hot jeans. I just need to find shoes that like Go match with them. the outfit. You get like I've DC. Got Air Maxes. DC. DC, yes. Oh, oh my, my god, god, DC shoes. What was that other brand? It started with H. H. Hurtley? Hurley. Oh, Hurley. so like skater Hurley. shoes. Skater yes, shoes, yeah, like, like DC shoes. Hurley, yeah. They would suit that. Yeah, oh my for god, sure. like a shirt with like a big star print on it. Yes. Very poorly D. Y2K. Oh, come on. Y2K yeah. is the haps. I, I, when people yeah. don't understand, I always have this thing where like, if someone doesn't, not that if they don't dress like me, but if someone doesn't like, you, know, you don't like my aesthetic. When someone doesn't <laughs> like my aesthetic, I literally think what is wrong with you? Like, how could you not like this? It's just, it makes so much sense to me. Someone comes in like, oh, like, one time someone made a video like, oh, doing a style review of Nick Knock. And like, there was a photo where I was wearing like this hot pink bag. And they're like, yeah. the bag's a bit tacky. And I was like, that is the whole point. It's like people it's miss tacky. the point. Yeah, the, the it's, point. Yeah. I was looking offended. And like, it's like fine that you think that. But I was like, say tacky with the pos- yes. positive sense. Tacky. Yes. That Hello. Like, I would literally wear this outfit low key. Like, I've been loving the poof. You look good with it. It's suits. I think it suits it's you. Suits. Like, yeah. the tacky, it's just fun like i'm sorry but i hate this whole minimalist era oh, minimalist yuck. era clean girl era i, I made it's a video once me. that got literally nearly one million likes of how to look clean yeah i did not look clean that damn video i'm not a clean girl <laughs> someone comes to you don't look clean i was offended but it's true like i have a problem oh, that I, would hurt me i hate i hate brushing my teeth i yeah. hate it i brush Everybody my teeth does. for 30 seconds like it's really bad to? two minutes <gasps> Not 30 me. seconds like i i really i don't do clean people th- like i have showers and stuff but like i'm not super clean so like when i made that video i was like this is so hypocritical well because <laughs> I, it's not realistic like these yeah. bitches act like they literally douse themselves can i say oil. what trend i hate please tell me tell me, tell me. <laughs> can we say trends we hey we were supposed, we we supposed to talk about celebrities we we're literally we're were we're, we're like oh, we want to talk about how pop many, how culture far in are we? how far in are we i think we're like 50 minutes in okay so it's okay how long okay. Do you one hour 15 yeah because we don't want to go as long as last time. Yeah. Okay. Pop, we're in the we're in our hating era. So if you made it this far, <laughs> it means you're a real one. So I trust you being here. Yes, this is the segment of Trend us I hate. hating trends. Okay, you go first. <laughs> wearing wearing a fucking blazer with everything and calling it a look. Bro, you don't. You're not the giving what you with think trackies. you're giving. The blazer with trackies. You're not I giving what you think you're giving. The blazer, which I'm sorry because some of my f- friends or like people kind of influences I know, yeah. they do it. I'm not coming at you. So you're probably not even going to see this. So who cares? No. But the it's blazers, just not it. the bla- every outfit does not need an oversized blazer. It's giving receptionist it's at a vet. Giving, it's giving 60 minutes interviewer. Tracy like, Grimshaw. It's giving Tracy it's Grimshaw. Giving Tracy well, Grimshaw. No, well, that's just for me. Like, I don't have, the only thing I have that's close enough to it, like a blazer, is like, yeah. actually, I saw this denim blazer I low key want to get, but it's denim and it's like Y2K. I'll show you later. Ooh. It's not actual blazer. It's like, okay. a, it's like a leather jacket that's shaped like a blazer. And whenever I wear it, I literally feel like one of those like influencers that's like. Oh. It's like the when jeans I never with the blazer. See you again. And I'll be wearing like a fucking blazer. Like, girl, that, that, cup. that was a loud break. <laughs> <laughs> but Damn. yeah, it's like Sound the blazer pisses me off. Okay, for me, it'd probably be um really, really tiny glasses. Let me oh, say why. I okay. used to I have love... To keep si- I have no, girl, like you fix yourself. five times in this video. I usually love small glasses. Like, that's my thing. But to be honest... Wait, are you talking about sunnies or like... Like sunnies, like really tiny sunnies. Yeah, the circle They're fucking so ugly. Yeah, Yeah. like... My boyfriend used to wear those. I hated them. They're so ugly. The three blind mice from Shrek. That's what it's giving. Please. It literally does. Invest in a nice pair of oversized glasses. Oversized sunnies, please. Oversized sunnies. These ones and I've got Ed Hardy ones. My favorite. Hot. Hot. Literally, oversized sunnies. I agree. Like, they look so good on the face. Like, it just works. Yeah, it just makes sense. Okay, now the trend I hate... And I've done it a couple times, but it's really overdone. The tight as slick back bun that everyone does. Stop it. It's giving Wear receding. your hair. I love, I love the new thing of people doing in their hair really voluminous. Yeah. That's how it's meant to be. Like slick, Big slick back hair. bun. Hoops. Oh, uh, uh, uh. No, too much. Slick back bun for the gym, yeah. Slick back bun for work, yeah. But when you go out, do not do a slick back, please. I've done a slick back ponytail once when I went out because I had no choice. I had to go out last minute. It was a ponytail though. Yeah. I felt like so fugly the whole night. Really? Hated it. I think the thing that... I look at it. I'm like, you look bold. Like, there, there's no <laughs> hair. Like, Bitch is giving people, receding. Some people eat. Some people eat with their butt. Like, it's too. It's too much. It's I love voluminous, much. big voluminous hair. Interesting. Okay, what's another thing? My one would probably be skin tight t-shirts. On guys. On guys. Can't relate. For you, it might Sexy. be like because like muscles and shit. Yeah. Personally, it's like it's giving you've cut your circulation off. Oh like, my god. Bro, I'm dead. Get, invest in a size up, and you'll look Oversized a lot better. Oversized looks good on guys. Yes. Literally. For me personally, because my body is like I'm literally shaped like a peach. <laughs> so like, you're like no. I'm shaped like a Disney mum. Like 
like very skinny at here and then the thick just go out <laughs> and then it's like flat from behind so i need to like wear oversized so my yeah. body looks proportionate no but i think i agree I, I like skin tight on guys when like muscly like muscly like gym yeah, like gym, gym rats yeah. yeah i like oh on boys when they wear i mean this is the thing i feel like i'm not very picky with guys fashion because i'm a girl so like if yeah. a guy looks good in something he looks good do you know what i mean like yeah i like skinny jeans on guys i'm not my favorite but like they suit some guys. But like some guys go for it. But it's like, yeah. I feel like I, I'm i more like think of like what I don't like on girls. But that's like what you, you just said a yeah. guy thing. Like I don't really care. Like on guys, I'm just yeah. like whatever. It doesn't Because like it doesn't affect me because I'm like, yeah. Yeah. Because like I can appreciate the like the Moe aesthetic. The, the Moe aesthetic. Like or the I can tight appreciate Nike the, trackies. The, yeah. the really tight Nike trackies. When my boyfriend wears those, I like it. I like when guys wear that. Because yeah. like I appreciate like you look like a hot Moe. Do you know <laughs> what I mean? Yeah, no, I get what you mean. Okay, your one. Okay, um, what should we do? Like shoes. Shoes, please. Okay, shoes, shoes. Fuck. I mean, oh, I don't know. I've got one for shoes. Okay, you tell your shoes one first. I'll think. Pardon? I'll think. Okay, I'll say one now. Then I think my one for shoes is. I think you like these shoes. Okay, it's fine. They're don't really, say Crocs. No, not Crocs. I love Crocs. The really big, um, I don't know what the brand is, but they're massive platforms. Demonias. Demonias. I have those, but I don't have the platforms. Okay. I have the low ones because like I can't. This big. Yeah, I don't wear some. You know what? That is actually height. Pe- that's rude for tall people because we can't <laughs> wear that shit. Literally, Demonia makes the tallest shoes, and I've always yeah. wanted them because of how they look. Yeah. They just came out with short ones recently, and I bought them because but it's not fair to people like me. I don't want to be six foot. Like a, I like an oversized shoe. I get the aesthetic of it, but only if it's like a moon boot. Yeah, like that's that's what boot. I'm that's what I'm talking about. Are yeah. you talking about heel ones or something? Like the big, I don't know what it is. it's like a big boot, like a combat boot almost. It's like a massive platform at the yeah, bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and they like lace up to here. Yeah. To me, no, they're a little I, bit. I like really chunky shoes, really tall heels. I don't like. I think it's because of me not being able to wear them. Mm-hmm. But I just like don't like because I can't wear them. I don't really care about the, the appearance of them. In saying that, I do like a chunky converse. Oh like yeah, a platform converse. Platform converse looks. Yeah. So cute. Platform Love shoes them. in general, like yeah. I feel like look cute with any outfit. They make yeah. the outfits look good. Absolutely. Makes you look a little bit taller. Um, that for me that counts. Yeah. Being for, five five or five six. Five, five seven on a good five, day. You're <laughs> the height when you wake up when you're a little bit taller because you woke it up. Guys, today I'm me. identifying as five nine. <laughs> that's me. But when you wear chunky shoes, like I'm five. I'm nine. like a five seven with chunky shoe on. Yeah, I get I look extra tall because I'm a girl. I feel like girls look taller when they're even How when tall they're are you? not five, five six. Five six. Literally I'm 166.5. That's like average height, yeah? No, nah, average height's like five four. I'm taller than oh, like really? the average girl, yeah. Um short queens. Sh- <laughs> you shorties. <laughs> um there's like a it's just like things that get overdone. Like I know it's bad, but like there's like a there's like a bag I'm thinking of. Oh that bag that everyone... Populisman. Populisman. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The crossbody bag. It's because that with the Mr. Winston and then like the Lorna Jane pants. Stop. These are carbon But like I'm girls. not going to hate because... You know what? Like it's fine, but like I would never buy the Populisman bag. I, yeah. And the colour... The colour green and the colour Officeworks blue. I hate them. Really? I well, love that green. electric blue. I hate it. I love it. I it's mean, my I've, I wore it recently. I actually liked it, but like... That green, that Woolworths green is so feral. I hate it. I hate it. Everything was coming out in that forest green. I hated it I so much. I love that green. Okay, we're getting on to celebrities. celebrity and I have topics. A, I have a bone to pick. Well, not a bone to pick, but pick I've talked bone. about it before. You guys know I love Bella Hadid. I think she is stunning. I think she is one of the ne- like the next it girl to supermodels yeah. of our time. Because I feel like for a while there hasn't been like a no. Naomi Campbell. No. Or something. You know yeah, what like I mean? Like a big one. Like a big one. Because like, yeah. like since the 2000s with Adriana Lima and all that, I feel like there hasn't been like a big one. Like there's been yeah. Kendall and Gigi and whatever. And we've been like, oh, Bella yeah. did. She's got a lot of work done, obviously, to change herself. But Absolutely. she's giving. <sighs> but it looks good. I support she people getting work done when it looks amazing. Oh, yeah. 100%. She looks so fucking hot. Go on. <laughs> um. Yeah, no. Bella did looks good. Yeah. So... I feel like Bella had did. I, I say this thing and it's called middle um middle class cosplay. Yes. Okay. I feel like Bella had did loves to middle to middle class cosplay. Yes. I think I just want to say something. Growing up, I'm not saying like I would say we are middle class people, right? Yeah. We're not lower class. We're not in like poverty. Yeah. But we are not upper class. No way. No. So we're like middle, the lower end of the middle class. I kind of like you know grew up in like the suburbs that we did and whatever yeah. the schools we went to. We have a certain type of life we live here. 
where we're like the, the what the parties look like, what it's like being a teenager, mm-hmm. how much access we had to things. Yeah. I feel like that has become kind of an aesthetic, which is cool. You know, like, let me just, you know, Skins. Yes. Skins is a really great representation of like what it looks like to kind of grow up and be in that like, you know, you don't have that much money as like a teenager. You don't have that much money. The parties are pretty like, you know, whatever, yeah. all over the place. And I feel like people like really love to romanticize that life. And like, it's cool that we grew up in that. Era. I feel like celebrities and also rich people love to romanticize that. Like yes. the amount of people you see now from Camberwell, from Ivanhoe, moving to Brunswick Bro. on daddy's money for yes. the rent. Yes. Dressing, going to Savers, dressing in this way where they look poorer than they are. Like, that's totally fine. But, like, just because I'm, like, someone from, like, these areas, not saying I'm poor. I'm not, obviously. But, like, not saying I grew up. But, like, there's a certain way we grow up. I get what you mean. Yeah, yeah, no. I understand what you mean. And I feel like they love that aesthetic because it's, like, cool. It's, like, it's, like, skins. It's, like, uh, youth and and grunge and, uh, (laughs) like, Brunswick and and, and Savers and stuff. And they think it's cool, right? But I've been, like, going to Savers since I was, like, 14 because, like, that's just what you do in this area, I guess. Yes. Like whatever. Yep. Do you see where I'm going with this? I so definitely like, do. Like, I want to add to that. Yeah. I don't like it personally because they have a lot more access than most of us do. Yeah. So when you act as if like you're in the exact same boat as us, you're on the exact same money, like you have all these things that we have. Yeah. It's offensive because you literally can move back to your mansion. Yeah. Like you have your daddy's money behind you. Yeah. Most of us are literally just doing it by ourselves. Yeah. So it's offensive to feel like you can fit into the same boat that we're in you know i didn't know that rich people really existed until i started working at the job i work at so i work at a store that's like high end okay yeah yeah um there are people that come in and spend thousands of dollars a session or like they'll come in and buy their literal eight-year-olds clothes from my store and i think far out there really people living this good that they can buy their children like hundreds and hundreds of dollars worth of clothing from this store in one go and then it made me realize, like, that's why there's girls out there that buy the Mr. Winston. And then they have, like, the, um, what's that brand that everyone likes? Vivian Westwood. And they've yeah. got all this stuff, like, and I'm like, damn, like, how are they buying this stuff? Like, I remember being, like, 15 and I had one pair of jeans from Topshop. Yeah. And one pair of jeans from Universal. And I used to think the brand A brand jeans, I thought that was the highest end jeans you could get. And My it's... friend had them and I thought, how did she afford that? Yeah. But, like. You know what I mean? Like, no, it's crazy, like, to grow with... up kind of like that. It's so, so like, true. when I see people, like, kind of going into that kind of, like, more, like, Brunswick aesthetic or whatever, yeah. it's kind of just, like, funny because it's, like, oh, like, you know, your parents... I don't know. Like, it's weird. I'm no, not judging you guys. Like, no, but your fashion parents are, like, well off. Like, you're... You... I didn't know you guys existed. I just exactly. want to tell you that. <laughs> I didn't know rich people existed. When I went to Camberwell for the first time, I thought I was in another country. Really? Me and my friends were walking around. We went to Camberwell to go to this school for this, like, philosophy day. Yeah. I've never seen trees like that. I've never seen streets like that. I've never <laughs> seen... I felt like I could walk that area at night and be safe. Like, the, the really? houses... I was shocked that people lived like that because of where I'm from. The houses are small. The backyards are tiny. Yeah. If someone has a pool, there's like one person per street who has a pool. Like That was kind of like me when I went to Bondi, to be honest. Really? I was walking around. I'm like, first of all, everybody was stunning. Yeah. Like everybody was hot. And then like everybody was just like rich. And yeah. you could see like driving in their Mercedes, driving in their, like their old decked out G-Wagons, like all these cars and stuff like the area. I did not see one Holden. And I was yeah. like, this is not my area. I like... I think growing up like that also like makes you weird with your money because like, yes, I shop a lot, but, but I'm like, frugal. I'm fr- like, I will only buy when it's on sale or I will find the discount codes for it. And I'll feel guilt if I spend, like, I find it really hard to spend money on bathers. Yeah. I don't understand the point. Like I always bought bathers from cheap shops. Like I never went to sea folding, nothing like that. I couldn't understand spending more than $50 on a pair of bather bottoms. Yeah. If I do, I don't think I ever have. I think yesterday was the first time I bought actually a pair of bathers that was expensive. It was like $90 for a set. Yeah. Like, I felt like, whoa, that's a lot of money. Like, I don't see, like, the value in, like, that. I, yeah. I think that's a lot of money, but for some people, like, it's normal. Okay. I always had cheap, the cheaper options of things. I always bought my stuff from the cheaper shops. Same, like, like cotton never stuff. owned a designer bag. The juicy bag I have, which is secondhand, yeah. which cost me $250 to ship yeah. here. I was like, I can't believe I just spent that much money on a bag. But people be having, like, thousands and thousands of dollar bags. Oh, but- that's one thing that I find really tacky though. Like that's the one thing where I'm saying tacky in a nasty way. Like mm. when someone has everything designer, I feel like designer things are just not like they used to be. 
Does that make sense? I'm not interested in designs. I'm not interested. I feel my like car, it's just so ugly. I don't even care that my car is a 2009 Mitsubishi Lancer. Like, you, I, I didn't even think to myself. Like, there are no, some people who know no. from, like, the age of 15 what car they want. They get a brand new car. Never had to that. To me, like, I did not care that, like... My yeah. car's from 2009. My car's so old. I'm like, I'm just chill. With but it. your car's <laughs> cute. The way you it's decked cute. it I out. It. I love that. Anyways, going back to where I was going <laughs> with that. So I feel like our upbringing has become cool. By yeah. TV shows, they love to show, you know, the lifestyle. Mm. I feel like with celebrities, they didn't get that because they're rich. Like, there's one thing to talk about rich kids, whatever. Let's just surpass that because I know some people who watch me are like rich kids. <laughs> and like, it's totally fine. I'm not judging you guys. Yeah, girl, you're rich. Yeah. Um, but like, I think some celebrities wanted that upbringing or something like that because yeah. like they didn't get that. It's their they way to feel this, normal. Yeah. They had this upper class life. They had yeah. access to everything. Like Bella had did saying she didn't get her first pair of Louis Vuittons until she oh finished. God. Girl, I'm never going to get Louis Vuittons <laughs> in my whole life. Like I'll be lucky if I even touch secondhand designer. Like let's be real here. So it's like with Bella Hadid, I feel like she tries to go into that. I call it middle class cosplay. Yeah. The way her Instagram is, there's sometimes the things she wears and stuff. I think she's trying to look more normal. So her birthday recently... She went to this party and she posted all these photos. Did you see what her cake was? No. It wasn't. looked like a cake that was from Costco in like 2010 with like really big tacky happy birthday writing. Ugh. And I was like, you are Bella Hadid. That cake probably cost a lot of money, let's just say. Anyway. Yeah. But like the way she was taking photos of where she was, it was like she was trying to act humble and like she was at like something that we would have similar to for like a family a family yeah. birthday. Even though I Should feel like when you're up? like us, you try and look richer than you are. Like our family's yes. trying. <laughs> Nobody is we, trying to act how they actually are. Everybody's Never. trying to upscale. 100%. Uh, so, like, when the celebrities do, like, Bella Hadid, I don't want to come for her, but, like, sometimes the way she dresses like, and acts and stuff, I feel like it's giving middle-class cosplay. It's yeah. like you're trying to act like it's, like, uh, but you go home to your massive mansion and probably a gate community. Exactly. Gated with, like, community. Everybody working for you, like, not having to really lift a finger. Like, yeah. It's not the same. Yeah. I feel like that with Kendall Jenner. She was talking on like, I don't know if you watch the Kardashians. I haven't watched the new season. Okay. So she was talking about like flipping houses and she's like, guys, I'm like really nervous. Like it's a lot of money. I'm like, bitch, you're a billionaire almost. Like yeah. you can what? afford to do uh, it. Like, be real. Be real. Be yeah. real. Like it's not going to cost you that much money. And like you can afford to flip a Literally. fucking house. Like I hate when they try to act like they're not rich. Like, <laughs> like bitch, like live nervous, in your like, truth. She's not nervous yeah. about that. She's not nervous about that. Live in your truth. Like mm. if I was rich, sorry, but I would act rich. No, that's what I think. If I like, was rich, not? that's why, that's another thing I've said it before. Michaela Testa, I love you because yes. you don't try and act poor. Like no. this girl is wearing a new outfit every video. She's wearing a new juicy tracksuit yeah. every single video. Like that would be me. Like I don't like the idea, but then again, that's like someone who grew up normal doing that. That's why she didn't grow up rich that's as well. Why I think if we were to like suddenly be billionaires one day, we'd be so good at it. Yeah. Because, because like we've grown up humbly. Exactly. Yeah. And like, so then when you, do, when, and it's In like area. In the area, for real. So it's like, yeah. when you when you act, then after that, if you act rich, I'm like, kind of like a vibe with it. Like you're buying all the best <laughs> clothes and stuff. Literally. But like, yeah, like I know this girl who's like well off and she wears the best outfits, like the most fashion forward pieces. And I'm like, thank you for acting what rich. you are. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Be like, who you are. <laughs> no, literally, that's what they need to hear. Because Love like, it. I don't know. I don't know if I'm, I'm not that I'm sensitive, but like just something about like when like, yeah, like Bella did, I feel like she does it. It's like, you just try and, kind of act like you are from this more humble place when it's yeah. like her dad is like one of the highest real estate agents in like all of america like her mum was a model like yeah you've been born into money so you've like trying money. to do this whole like cause, yeah like, I, like if you look at her instagram there's like this photo where she was wearing these shoes that were like old ballet flats she looked like I've she was like a, a child in berlin yes. in the 1940s it's and like it's, like, it's like, just not like <laughs> that's me being a hater i'm being sorry being middle guys. class isn't an aesthetic yeah. I think that's the whole point here. It's not a fucking aesthetic. And it's just annoying because it's like, it's something that like, because growing up when you don't have, like when you don't get to have all like the high end things, yeah. then like you feel kind of shit like that you don't. So yeah. then when you see people who can, that act like what you have and it's cool because yes. they're rich doing it, it's annoying. It also takes away from the fact that like, this is like, most people's real life like that's my real aesthetic and now you're using it because you can like yeah. if you want to I feel like, like this just... started with the earphone trend of wearing earphones instead of airpods it really pissed me off did you fall for that off. no my, I, my airpods did get stolen though and I had to wear my boyfriend's um, they earphones stolen. for a bit. yeah I don't know where they are hello kitty case Unlucky. if you see him but like I think because if you didn't have airpods when they first came out you yeah. were clowned Bad. People would laugh at you. You yeah. would look... Literally, when I asked my dad to buy me AirPods, I felt so guilty because I was like, I thought it was so much money. But like, 
you were clown. So then it's like when yeah. they're trying to turn it back to wearing earphones, it's like Charlie D'Amelio wearing earphones. We know you have like 10 pairs of AirPods, bro. Don't like just Literally. use because you think it's cool. Yes. It's just like annoying because it's like it, if you didn't have those, you were clowned at the start. I remember there was a video on TikTok of this guy who had them in class, like AirPods, and he was going around cutting people's wires. Yeah, I remember that too. Do you remember that? I was, I was literally like, thinking of that. I was like, uh, like what world do we live in like bro it's a fucking wire why is that offending you like it's yeah. a wire why are you cutting I it I remember when that was literally a thing and so that's why I think when people started doing it and it was pissing me off because it's like you're doing it for the aesthetic bro like you yes. have a pair of, if I had a pair of airpods I would choose them over earphones any other day of the week yeah like hello my, even though they're stolen but it's like <laughs> like if I did have them and someone didn't steal them but it's like <laughs> That's why I just like, I don't know, it just like kind of annoys me because it's like, it. it's it, that that's when it started that like people were even saying like the middle class, trying to be middle class aesthetic. Yeah. Like when Emma Chamberlain tries to be relatable. <laughs> she used to be Her my stands favorite. come for you though. You have to be careful. I know. I, I going to say this. I've been before. I love Emma Chamberlain. Yeah. But I can't watch her anymore. Yeah. She's just not who I used to watch. And that's fine. Like she's grown and stuff, but... All her stuff now is just not relatable. Like mm. you're showing your house on Architectural Digest. Like you've you're going on hot ones. Like all this stuff, not relatable to me anymore. Yeah. Like I miss the bitch that would cry because she burnt her coffee cake. Yeah, because that was me. Yeah, like I can't relate to what she's doing these days. Yeah, I I never really watched her. People used to call me the Aussie Emma Chamberlain, and I I'm could like see that at the start they used to say that, and I was like. Okay, but, like, I never really watched her. Like, I watched, I think, a couple of her vlogs, and I did like them. Yeah. But, like, I think it's that idea of, like, when someone goes to... Like, you have to understand if you're not relatable anymore, don't try to be. Yeah. Just like, live in who you are. Be literally, you like, are. when people get, like, Kylie Jenner, like, trying to be an influencer. Like, Stop. you're not you're not relatable like the others. So, just no. be be a rich person, be who you are, yeah. and, like, go on with it. Just live in your truth. No, like, I feel bad because people are like, oh, celebrities are humans too. Like, they are, but they're a different kind of human. Like, you can't... Don't act like if Bella Hadid was in the room with you, you treat them just like an, any other person. Exactly. Because like, you wouldn't. Bitch, you'd fall on the floor. Like Bella At that Hadid, point, you would faint. Literally. Like, Bella Hadid can buy middle-class clothes, yeah, but she can buy a whole store of middle-class clothes, so that's not the same. Bro, she can buy High Point. Literally, she, she can to. buy High Point. So it's not the same It's not the same energy of, it's like... It's not the same boat. I literally. think my one um, about celebrities was going to be about the Kardashians. Okay. I think people give them too much um, credit for being, like, so... Um, what's the word for it? Like, they think that they plan literally everything. Mm. I think things happen by accident, and then they just naturally act like they came up with the idea. Does that make sense? Like... Whenever there's a Photoshop fail, people are like, oh, they do this on purpose because they know people will talk about it. But I think that was by accident. Like, yeah. I think they just skimmed over the fact that Kylie's arm was, like, twisting weird in the background. Like, I don't think yeah, they're probably. really... Yeah, probably. It's easy to, like, not notice things. Yeah, I feel like they just glazed over it. Mm. I also feel like they have that much money that I instantly just feel so much respect for them. Does that make sense? Yeah, okay. I know what you mean. I like, know what you mean. They've got all this money and, like, you can say they're not talented, but... Excuse me. Everybody knows who the Kardashians is. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Literally, they have so much like influence, and I feel yeah. like th it's just like that's why people want to watch this show because they're just entertaining for being them. Like, yes. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I don't know. Do you think it's fair that people s blame them for the beauty standard? What well, I don't. This is the thing. I feel like they change the beauty standard, but like if you think about it because I've seen this a post before people saying the beauty standard used to be tall thin white girls with blonde hair yeah they changed that ch shit to the short thick Arab looking girl yeah so it's like I understand like people saying but like Kim Kardashian didn't invent having a fat ass Li literally hello I like big butts and I cannot lie was out before Kim Kardashian literally like JLo <laughs> like, has a fat ass literally it was always like in like if anything the Kardashians have that fake body look which maybe some people like but that hasn't gone like that's not in like not everyone has a BBL in Australia like it's no. more of an American thing to like it's like more that. of an American thing 100% I don't think I've met any Australian that has a BBL no neither no like I like think lip injections and like yeah cheek filler and stuff yeah yeah I get that but like I don't think people should blame them I think they just like did what they like but yeah. I don't like how people are saying like now because they're getting skinny everyone has to get skinny again no i feel like, like it's just really toxic like it is i feel like if you're looking online and you're kind of drawing inspiration from someone else's body it says mm. a lot more about you like i i don't feel like you can blame that person because they are the way they are yeah they're not telling you that you have to be skinny and you have to have like a big fat ass like you want to yeah. do that i think it's like also but it's so hard as a girl because like Oh yeah, it's so okay. easy for girls to like not have the right body. Yeah, I feel like no, I don't know about guys, but I feel like guys like, like they can like obviously with guys short is like a big thing. Yeah, like they can't control that. But a lot of things I feel like guys like, I don't know because I'm not a guy, but I feel like it can be made to work because like yeah. they can like 
get like they can like work out and stuff, right? Yeah. But you can have a different opinion after I finish this because I feel like you're a guy, so you'll know like what it's like. I'll give I don't you my spiel on it. But I feel like with girls, we come in so many different body types that like it is so easy for a girl to have small boobs. Mm-hmm. It's so easy for a girl to have a wider rib cage. It's so easy for a girl to have like to not have big hips or a cinched waist or not have a thigh gap or not have small feet Mm -hmm. or not have a small nose or not have big lips and not have all these things that society says that we We need to have have to look good. And unfortunately now we are so, we we pick up on it. We perceive everything that like now more than ever, like someone can pick up on something that you don't have right with your body. Like I feel like, would anyone have noticed like 50 years ago that their rib, rib cage was wider than other people's? Like, uh, probably not, but probably like not. because it's like picked on now. Like I know I have a w- wider rib cage, and I notice things, and I feel like that's why I get where girls come from when they're like they want to have like a, a big butt and stuff because yeah. people are praised for it. Like if a girl on TikTok turns around ass. for a second and her ass is big, a million likes because it's like whoa, she got a fat ass. It's so true. And like it's so true. for like for like with guys, like for, for guys butt, like everyone. Like, no one really cares that much. Like, if a guy's got a fat ass, some people are like, hey, like, I get. But, like, it's like a massive thing to, like, you don't want to date a guy because he's got a big butt. But with a girl, if they don't have a butt, they will get clowned. Or, like, if a guy dates a girl with no ass, their friends are going to say something about it. Because I know it's happened before where, like, some guy has said about one of my friends, at least my girlfriend's got an ass. And they, like, say shit because their girlfriend doesn't have a big butt. So, it's like, I feel like I understand where it comes from. Yeah. But, like... A celebrity is a celebrity. I feel like you can't compare yourself to a celebrity no, ever. It's Someone not you know healthy. in person, you see their body, fair enough. Yeah. But like online, you can't because everyone no. puts their best foot forward always. Exactly. Like everybody, I, it's except everybody. I, low key, I never do. And I feel like I should because <laughs> sometimes I look back, I'm like, I should have tried harder in this video to look better because like Stop. sometimes I don't. And Stop. I'm like, maybe I should. But I feel like you give that perfect, like candid moment. Does that make sense? Yeah. You're very candid and it makes it like, you can romanticize anything. I feel like you do it really well. Oh, thanks. Does it make sense? Yeah. Like you don't have to be perfectly cu- curated all the yeah. time. I feel like that's what people say. Like, oh, you make me comfortable with my body. You make me comfortable with ha- like all different that's aspects. Nice people that's get offended nice by that, but I don't. Like, I love people that. think it's backhanded. Like sometimes it can be like, because someone like you give me confidence to like have my stomach out. And sometimes <laughs> it's like, okay. Uh, Damn. But like, I, I like that people feel like I make them feel like it's okay because yeah. I needed that. I feel like I needed yeah. someone to make me feel like that. Because, and you're that person for somebody. Yeah, which is good. That but anyways, is what would you say about guys? For guys personally, I feel like it just depends. If you don't have like the big muscles, you don't go to the gym and stuff like that, you're looked down on by yeah. other guys. To be honest. Oh, true. By other guys. By other okay, guys. Okay, that's interesting. I think guys, I was thinking about how guys view other girls. Guys body shame everybody like guys and girls i feel like guys body shaming guys doesn't get talked about a lot Mm. but it's such a thing in high school to be honest if you didn't have like the skinny six pack or like muscles and shit like that you were getting bullied like damn okay i've always not always actually when i got to high school i got fat yeah so i've always been pretty big like throughout my adult life i would cop it that hard that i would say to my teachers i'm not getting changed in the gym locker rooms anymore you're gonna Mm. have to open somewhere else for us to go because i'm not doing that yeah guys would just and because guys are so open with like they all get naked in front of each other mm. which is so it's a bit weird guys <laughs> but they'd be getting naked in front of each other and like showing off their muscles yeah. and stuff like that and god forbid you had man titties yeah. you copped it i feel like guys are so critical about Very their critical. bodies because of other guys like, yeah literally like my boyfriend talks Very about critical. that it's not really about what a girl thinks because the thing is no. girls I feel like that's what's good about girls. They love any body type. Like, yes. Like, they love r- the really skinny guys. Like, yep. the deadly looking ones. The muscly yep. ones. The dad bod ones. Like, they... L- that's the thing about girls. Personality draws you in. Yeah. And, like, then they're just... Like, they're just... Guys are just hot because of their personality. Or, like, yeah. with me. Like, if a guy has nice feet. Yeah, boys are harder on boys. It'd probably be the same with girls then. I guess. I feel like because a girl, you'll look at your own body so you compare to other girls so you're quicker to judge other girls bodies yeah which is kind of shit but i guess that's like our age like we're just so used to looking at everyone especially online we're just looking at each other and picking each other apart yeah. constantly and it's really easy because everybody's accessible these days mm-hmm. everybody posts themselves everybody posts themselves everyone because everyone wants to be an influencer everyone wants to be an influencer but everyone yeah. wants to look good but you know what i don't i feel like our parents they, they a lot of our parents like judge us for doing that yeah but my mom has photo albums of hundreds of photos of her and her friends printed on like Stop. like girl you were taking photos too just in your <laughs> own way okay you just weren't posting them everywhere but you have them she would have been the influencer of influencer her of her age literally because it's so funny because back then they took photos of everything 
literally but Everything. i love that so do i like people just doing casual shit i feel like yeah I, do you feel like your friends don't take photos of you doing stuff and it annoys you yes i'm like bitch i this is perfect opportunity for you to take photos of me a candid photo of me and my friends like take like, of you because i'm always the person that takes the oh, photos yes like if everyone's doing something candid i'll take it yeah but it's like i wish my friends would but they don't have that mind like me where they think but i want them to like take random photos of me or random videos of me exactly doing funny shit because it, you can't tell somebody to take random photos of you because it's weird. I want you to take them of me because you want to. Yeah. Like literally me just doing random shit or like laughing, like or literally laugh. or like take a, take a of video me. of me doing something funny. Like if I, like I said to my boyfriend, if I'm doing yes. some funny shit, take a video of me, bro. Yes, video like, this. I don't want to live in the moment. I want people to see this as well. <laughs> I don't want you to be the only one seeing this. I think because I trait. use my phone like a photo album. Like I take photos of everything. Same. Every time I go out with people, taking photos. Same. Or filming. Or filming exactly because yeah. I just like to have it. Yeah. So then I look back because I look back and at you high school stuff. And stuff. Exactly. Like looking back at high school videos and like memes. It's yeah. so fun. And like I have, I take so much stuff from my friends all randomly. Like you look good cool right now. Let me take a photo of you. Yeah. No one says that to me. It pisses <laughs> me off. Guys, I just want someone to take photos of me like I'm their French girl. Oh my god! Literally, we're gonna have to just take photos of each other. Yeah, I think we're that. We're person literally for gonna each have other. to be that for each other because no one does it. For yes, us. we're that. It's person because for each no. One, I feel like, I feel like not that I'm self obsessed, but I love a good photo of me, and I feel like other people just don't seem to care. Or like you know when they take it of you, you try and take it of them, they're like, no, I don't want photos. I'm like, why? Literally, who like, doesn't want photos? Especially when it's always the people that dress the fucking best. They're like, I don't want photos. Like, bro, you what dress for? up, you look good right now. Literally. What about when you take a photo of someone and you know they look good at it, they look at it, and they're like, Ugh, no, it looks ugly. Oh, it makes me mad. It I makes can't. me so feel like especially because bad photo. I know angles, like I know my angles, and I know how to get good photos of people. Dude, me so too. when they're like, oh, it's a shit photo, I'm like, don't hurt the my work. The other day, I took these photos of my friends, like four of them in the same post, looking in the mirror, like this Marilyn Monroe photo. Yeah. They could not get the exact same angle for me. My photos of the same version, I'll show you after. Yeah. Looked so fucked, and I was trying to tell them, you need to get the same angle I'm getting. Like, I made them oh. look like they were on Cover Girl, <laughs> and they made me look so dumb. I was like, it's about like that. People don't understand the angle. No, it has to be like it's not eye level, it's a little bit under your eye level. Yeah, it's like facing up. For so me, you look it's like skinny. for me, it's a little bit above and looking down, so I look small. Oh, that's what I like. For me, I have to kind of like make it look like it's upwards. Yeah. So I look taller and I look yeah. a little bit thinner. Ooh. It's all about manipulating with the, ca- with the camera angle. Literally. That's why if anyone ever came up to me and said, you don't look like your Instagram photos, I'd be like, I don't. Because it's literally my best angle. Good. Yeah. Well, good. Like, because I hope you. I look better on Instagram. Exactly. So many people yes. have said to me, a common thing I've gotten is people saying you look better in real life to me and i think it's because on tiktok the way i film is so like up close the camera shows me i'm always like as i said before yeah. i'm always just like it's in the look- moment yeah but like not about yeah. my instagram or whatever because on my instagram i'd be slaying but no. like on yeah. tiktok they say i look better in real life than on tiktok and i'm like you know what because on tiktok i let myself look shit well because like i feel like if i look really hot in a video what is that doing for me? Like, And it's, it's honestly, people won't take you as exactly. funny. They won't it's, think you're as funny. It's in the moment. It's just me with the same jumper on all the time, like in my kitchen. Yeah. Am I supposed to look hot then? Mm. Like if you want to see me look hot, go to my Instagram. And if you want to see, if you're funnier when you look worse. <laughs> yes, literally. That's what I feel like about myself. When you're the when most look, clapped. Yeah, that's when you're funnier. Yeah. Hundred percent, but I love a good Instagram photo. Nah, me too. I'm the type of person to like just drive around on my random days off, looking hot and just taking photos. There's one wall that I want to go take a photo on on Sydney Road. I'm literally gonna like it's that one wall. I don't know if you've seen it, but it's like it looks like it's a brat store almost. It's Ooh. like her face spray painted onto this garage door. It's like a big like drawing of a girl, and it's like a cartoon girl. Okay, I want to go take a photo. We're going. We're going. There's another place on Sydney Road. It's kind of like next to Barclay Square. Okay. And it's like this whole wall of graffiti mm. and it's just like pop culture shit. Like we should do like a there's content 50 day. Cent, there's Kim K, like yeah, there's I've everybody. Seen that. I want to take photos in front content of Content day soon. For sure. With a couple different outfit changes. I'm happy that we're friends because you're the kind of like the exact same as me. Yeah, I feel like. Like content wise and all of that, like we get each other. We get it. And we, and you know what? If you tell me the angle camera angle you want, I'll get it every single time. Thank the same you. One. And I need somebody that can tell me like you look fat in this photo. Yeah, I will tell you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say no, that pose is not working. Thank you. You and my friend Ira are kind of like that. Yeah. My friend Ira is kind of good to take photos. Yeah, Sometimes. I love that. My boyfriend, I try and train him, but he won't tell me if I look bad. Really? And if I look at it and it looks shit, I'll be like, bro, like don't. And he's like, it's your fault posing. I'm like, I, you can do any pose. I'll make you look good. It's about the angle. It's about the yes. photographer, not the person there. I swear. Thank you. Like you can get, you can look good at any, like in any outfit, as long as the angle's good. Exactly. Literally just a basic t-shirt. You can make yourself look so fucking hot. Yeah. It's about, about the angle. angle. Literally. Well, 
This has been lots of fun. This has been once again we talk for way longer than we expect. Way longer, we went off to. track. Um, so but many times we, I really enjoy doing podcasts with you. Same. So this is like the funnest thing ever. I love podcasts. I love so just fun. hearing my own voice <laughs> talking into a microphone. I think I was just born to talk shit. Same. That's just my life goal. Like I just want to be able to get paid to talk shit. <sighs> well, well, you're heading towards there, aren't you? Thank you so much. Like podcasts. They're the next big thing, I, I swear. think so. Because you know what? There's something you can listen to in parts. Put it on for your drive. Yes. Listen to YouTube two times speed. <laughs> listen to us talking extra fast than we already are. Thank you, guys. I think we talk pretty fast, too. Yeah, I think we do. Which is good. Well, yeah, it's very good. Very quick. Yeah. Um, but thank you for coming on again. Thank you for having me. I hope That's you okay. have me again more and more and more after this. I will. Because <laughs> everybody loves you. So you'll Stop. definitely be back. Because I like the cloud. <laughs> <laughs> cloud chasing? No, no. <laughs> We're chasing each other's cloud because yeah. Frankie's getting more and more successful every day. Stop. His my head is that big. going off. You don't need to make my head any bigger than it is. Like, it's already that fucking but big. But it's true, so. Thank you so much. Well, thanks for coming on, Famous Gal. Uh, thanks for having me. Make sure you watch us on YouTube and listen on Apple and Spotify. Yes. Thank you, guys. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye. Bye.